you live from their studio in South Florida, Twist Gaming. Featuring lead broadcaster, Matt Coza. Co-host and creative genius, Josh Perry. Co-host and interviewer extraordinaire, Anne Lazito. Co-host and marketing mogul, Aaron Murphy. With appearances from special guest, Lucy. Welcome to Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. Good evening, everyone, and welcome! This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We're coming to you live here from our studio in sunny South Florida, bringing you another episode of Feast of Legends! Da, da, da. But who are we? I'm Matt. I'm Stephanie. I'm Anne. I'm Josh. And we are Twist Gaming. Twist Gaming! All together. Twist, Twist Gaming! gaming. Oh, we got to work on that. Uh, so, for those of you joining us for the first time for this stream, or uh, have forgot because it has been a while since our premiere episode, uh, this is the Feast of Legends RPG by Wendy's, the, the fast food company. Uh, so it is a smaller campaign RPG with our uh, fine players uh, playing as different fast food themed orders, uh, which give them different skill sets, yeah. different uh, abilities. Boosts. Uh, and they are in the kingdom of Fresh Tovia, you yeah. know, the, the realm of fresh beef. And uh, they're trying to, uh, right now they, uh, well, we'll go over that in a minute, but they're, they're, there's issues going on with the Ice Jester down south. So, um, yeah, let's give a quick recap of who we're all playing as. So, we'll start on the far end of the table. So, Joshua, who are you? I am Jack Monterey, magician extraordinaire. Okay. And? Uh, I'm the boss. I am a purveyor of good sauces, and uh, I'm, I'm in the market. That was too lazy to come up with a name. <laughs> Nobody you asked you to help with the intro. Neither of you gave your class or what kind of weapons you use. Oh, uh, I am of the order of the double stack. Which is kind of like a warrior race. Yes. Warrior alignment. Uh, I uh, walk around with my spatula, and I have a uh, super cool pinky ring, obviously, which gives uh, my opponents the mark of death. I haven't used it yet. I'm no, excited to kind of like see how that works Not out. That you had that. How about you, Josh? I'm right? the order of the Frosty. I'm basically a bard. Magician of Art. And you also have... Uh, I have a can that I beat people up with. You also have... A barrel. A magic barrel. Yeah. It's kind of the more important thing. Yeah. You don't actually have a cane. You have a spoon. <laughs> yes. And I'm Dipperella. <laughs> I'm of the order of the Asiago Ranch Chicken Club. And um, I go around with my foil wizard robe. It's <laughs> very crinkly and stylish. It gives me plus one arcana. I forgot to write that down. <laughs> And I have a fork, also as my weapon. Mm -hmm. It goes 60 feet. Pretty impressive. Right when she javelin throws yeah. the fork at someone. Mm -hmm. I am a professional sauce maker. I, you know, I'm the sauce mixologist. And uh, so you're... I work with my boss to who purveys <laughs> the sauce for me. So your special thing that uh, your character is using is actually your sauces to various effects. So right now you've mm -hmm. got your sauce sauce, which you used last stream. And we discovered sauce sauce heals. Yeah. As it should. And it's, it's all in the sawsome. fountain. It's all in the fountain. Mm -hmm. uh, and I am your friendly DM. Eh. I'm the DM? There we go. Okay. So <coughs> last... You Wendy's to play? Yeah. Welcome to my Wendy's. How can I take your order? Uh, so, what happened last episode is that our fine adventurers, they all knew each other beforehand, so we didn't have to have that awkward first interaction. Which uh, nice. Look, I have been trading sauces on a particular market, and my typical supply chain has run dry. So, I had to hire, you know, Dipperella has been fantastic for me, making sure that the product that I'm, get, you know, selling is of top quality. Uh, but then I had okay, to Gus. find this fool because, you know, there are certain regulation suggestions, as I like to look at them, that I had to work around. It's Gus, Walter, and Jesse. Damn right. <laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never seen Breaking Bad. Oh, oh man. We so, really need a trailer to travel in. Gus is the ruthless boss. Walter is the sauce or the meth genius or sauce genius in this case. 
and Jesse is his dysfunctional <laughs> screw up of an assistant that is constantly getting them into trouble that Walter has to bail them out of. Yeah, no, this sounds right. <coughs> it's, that sounds like a pretty good. Uh, and you constantly, analysis. Gus constantly wants to kill Jesse. Walter keeps getting in between them. That sounds like yeah. Over in their fair, playing with kids. Forget it. So, that sounded wrong. Yeah, yeah playing with kids. Uh, so in our premiere episode, uh, we saw Dipperella uh, taking some sauce and sauce from the fountain. Uh, they went and checked out the moisture tomato farm. <coughs> Moist, <coughs> just the moistest tomatoes. Uh, they met old MacDonald, the farmer. Uh, Josh put a lot of stuff in his barrel. Um, he, he, he stuffed a lot of stuff in his barrel. Little Timmy got stuffed in that barrel as well. <laughs> what is the list of stuff that went in the barrel? You'll find out eventually. Uh, he got accosted by some townsfolk, and then uh, he convinced the guards that it was the townsfolk's problem. Yep. <laughs> you didn't you get a crit on yep. that? Yep, he yep. did. He did. <laughs> he crit so they went to arrest Timmy's parents, you know. Um, <laughs> and then they started to explore the French fry forest at the behest of this mysterious shrouded figure. But there's been no French fries in the forest. Yeah, yeah, there hasn't been any French fries. That's very much. true. It smells like French fries. Timmy is contaminating everything else. Jack, <laughs> Jack disappears. Wasn't there like a whole bunch of lettuce in there too? Like 75 heads of lettuce. All right. So <laughs> I wrote it down that I have two gold nuggies. Me too. Okay. I don't remember what that Stephanie was. Stephanie and I, with the help of Twist, figured out the riddle to the door. And when we made it through the special secret door, we yep. got some nuggies. Yeah. So you two have the gold nuggies. Yeah. I don't remember where in this track you're at. So Joshua, if you could please open up that ex uh, the PowerPoint file that I made. I made a really nice PowerPoint file. Um, let's see where we are at. Did that email title say Head Queen Drip? Like, what kind of emails do you get? Ew. What are you talking about? Okay, no, don't worry about it. Uh, all right, so I don't. I don't remember where you are. It was after where we split up. Where it's like, oh, no one ever splits up here. Yeah. Uh, so we're almost at 14. I'm assuming we met together and we camped out. 14. Yeah, we're like, at 11. We met oh, at 11. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you 14. meant slide number 14. Oh, no. no. I'm talking about like a spot on the map. Yeah. So you are currently at... Uh, you just got through... You should be on... What freaking slide? 18. Slide 18. Let me reopen this because it opened up in... It's saved as a PowerPoint. Yeah, and it opened up. Oh, in, in Chrome? No, in Internet Explorer. Oh! That's a PDF. Yay! <laughs> the map kind of looks like it's in the shape of a person. Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. I don't have Adobe. Am I right? Whatever. What is... 18? Not that map, but the other map. Yes. A couple, last week I was talking to Michael, and he had to do something for homework. And he had to find a file that he had downloaded off the internet. And now he's on a, a new computer. And I was like, okay, so we'll go to your downloads file. He's like, I don't know where my downloads file is. I said, aren't you in like a, an academy specific to computers? And he like, he's like, don't talk to me. He's like super embarrassed. And then we were, he had to log into something and I, he had to have his email. He's like, well, I have it bound to this key combination. I was like, you know how to bind an, your email address to a key combination, but you can't find your download file. Like, I just... Can you do that a little bit better than that, Joshua? That's the best. He's giving it his Look, best. it looks like a person. Where are we supposed to see that? It's not a person. <laughs> Where do you see it as a person? On the other slide that he was on. Josh, do the full screen view. There you go. I'm so proud of you. Uh, can you make it, like, actually bigger behind us so we can see it? <laughs> All right, so you are in this section of the map. You have just reunited because previously you went your separate ways. Uh, Josh managed reunited to... Reunited and it feels so good. Jack Monterey decided to um, glamour a bunch of the hunger pangs and most Made of them friends. fell for it. That's right! <laughs> yeah. And then he put them in his barrel. And then you two figured out the the door of riddles. Yes. Yeah. Uh, with a little help from Twitch. But, you know, that's okay. Um, let's see. You can't really see anything with uh, how that's situated. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. <laughs> uh, so, uh, your new section that you're in. So, previously. Okay, move your head. <laughs> just, just duck We're down, Right where Ant's head is. 
that creaking is great. So if you see what's highlighted over here, uh, 13 is where Josh just uh, confronted all those baddies in. And then down lower, you need to make this smaller so we can actually see the map. The camp you yelled that it was too big. Now you yell that it's too small. <laughs> the main I'm camp just trying to get you to make some effort to do things the right way. Oh, my God. All right. The two of you. So uh, children. you all came in. I don't even know where you're that at door. right now. Which door? The door right there. Where? Where? Other way. Oh, th this door. Yeah. Right yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Right you, there. I, it's hard to see that door. So you all are in this <laughs> hallway right now. So that hallway leads to 14. Nayabari goes, okay, Goldilocks, is it just right now? You okay? Huh? Nayabari, he's calling you, Gold calling you Goldilocks. This Why? is very funny. Oh, I get it. <laughs> uh, so you're in the hallway between 13 and 14 right now. Um, yeah. So uh, 13 is also a campsite. Uh, if you want, you can take a rest here. Because I know rest time! I feel like that's what we did. Yeah, didn't we want to take a rest, and that's how we ended? Yeah. Okay, then yes, yeah, so you took a rest. Cause we were, because you had an ability related to resting that we were investigating. There's so many background noises right now in this whole show. She can create much, a, a fire. How yes. much do we heal? Max. We, I don't think we did it at the end of last one, because I'm still at three health. Heal up to max. Okay. So you're you're taking a full rest right now. Full rest. So Steph and uh, Ant, I'm sorry, Dipperella and the boss. Yeah. It sounds like a rap album. Uh, it is. Make sure that your uh, health is reset. It is the follow-up to uh, JP Killa's Pants Down Low. Perfect. Thank you. We're on the second same record label. Why did you give me the short bus pencil? All right. Thank you, Joshua. <laughs> so you have rested. Where are you going now? Down the hallway. I isn't there only one way to go? Yeah. I mean, yes, but... I'm going. I'm taking my barrel. Who who's stepping in first? Uh, I'm I'm going first. Okay. Uh, so you just <clears throat> no. Yeah. You are faced with another slow. path, familiar yet different. The leaves and branches continue to writhe around you as you walk. Around twenty feet ahead, to the right of the party, is another stone door. The inscription here simply reads. Absolutely no entry. So this is where you all met up the first time. So you backtrack to go to that one area. Speak okay. friend and enter? Yeah. Uh, beyond the door, the path continues for about 30 more feet. Then it begins to curve sharply to the left before straightening out. There are multiple side rooms on the path ahead, alternating sides about every 20 feet. So you see there's rooms 15, 16, 17, and 18, as well as uh, the path continuing straight forward into that masked off green area. It's there. really small. I can't see. Could you make it a little bigger? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. W which room would you like to go into? Uh, I'll go to the first room on the right. So, room number 15? Yeah. All right. So, you're you're walking straight in, or? Uh, I'm going to, like, roll my barrel in and see what happens. Nothing. Nothing happens when you roll your barrel <laughs> in. We've been through this. Like okay. four rooms in a row. You, he rolls his barrel in. Are you watching the barrel or are you just like? I'm watching like all around. I'm like watching the barrel, but watching all around if anything okay. comes out after it. You see the barrel roll into the middle of the room. Uh -huh. And then with a loud thud, it hits the side of a tree that's in the middle of the room. Okay, there's a big tree in the room. Yeah. Okay. Nothing else? Uh, I mean, nothing that you can see from the outside of the room. All right. I'm going to walk into the room. All right. You're in the room. I'm gonna check out the tree. I'm gonna look up it. Do I see anything like up in the tree? You can't Roll. just look up a tree. Are there any ingredients in the tree? Roll a d d20. Uh, 19. I hate him. Uh, plus one, so uh, 20. You look up. You see a bunch of branches in the tree. It's pretty, pretty stout, hardy tree. Uh, as you're looking down, uh, like you know, kind of changing your focus, you see uh something shiny. Uh, tucked into a knot in the stump. Okay. I gotta go check that out. All right. Uh, as you go and check it out, you find uh, four gold coins. <laughs> you let them go in first. I pocket it before anyone else comes in the room. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else in the room, like behind the tree or anything that I can see? Uh, you look around, and you see it's pretty much just a barren room with uh, Boss, a tree. Boss, you want to go to the next room? Yep. So we're going into 16. 
Okay, so you go into room number 16. Are you going into the room or are you peering your head in? We're going to go in. So we, we're going to get hunger pangs. We're going to have to fight them. That's fine. We go, we're going into the room. All right, you walk. I'm rolling my barrel over to where they are. No, I roll uh, it I'm back. Not, I'm not there yet. As, as you hear the barrel rolling behind you, you poke your head into the room and you look around and you see remarkably similar room. Uh, tree is a little bit worse for the wear. It looks slightly dead, decaying. Uh, but otherwise, the room looks pretty much identical to it. What's in the tree? You're going to look at the, the tree itself? Yep. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll a d20. wonder where I got these really nice new dice. I got a five. Um, what do we add for perception? Uh, intelligence. Your intelligence. Wait, do I uh, add the modifier? Yeah. Thirteen. Six. All right, so the boss finds another knot uh, in this tree, and uh, you see that there's an inscription on it, nearly legible, but you notice it. Josh, go to slide 13. Keep him on his toes. <laughs> it looks like it says he's hung. <laughs> 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 He's hung. <laughs> like Beware. <a> He's ready. <laughs> so much wrong with I'm going to keep going to the next room. Pre-hung boss. Very convenient. <laughs> you don't want to be by the hung guy? He's ready. He lies ahead. Back to 18, Josh. 18. Are you sharing that with anyone in your group? Or? I'm with Dipperella. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, sorry, I had a little uh, premature <laughs> uh, situation here. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you <laughs> so much. <laughs> All right. So, uh, any, what are you guys doing? I'm going to room 17. Josh, is, or I'm sorry, uh, Mo Jack Monterey is going into room 17. Um, the second room on the right is about 20 feet farther down the path uh, from the first room on the right, so you go 20 feet down. Uh, as you approach, you hear shuffling and a familiar snarl. Roll my barrel in the room. You roll your barrel into the room, and uh, as you roll it in, him. two pangs jump out and start smacking the barrel like agitated cats. <laughs> He's gonna I record them. a video and I post it on YouTube you don't, you don't and, and get all the money. You don't have the video. <sighs> Watch this is bad. You might get hungry. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so there's. it looks like two hunger pains. Yes. I yell at the other two. Hey, we got uh, some hunger pains over here. Okay. Um, I'm going into room 18. Yeah, I want to <laughs> go into room 18 as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with me one minute here, folks. Uh, room number 18. It's about 20 feet further down the room, uh, down the hallway on the left-hand side. As you pass uh, the one room, you see uh, a couple of pangs. Um, looks like they're starting to chip away at the wood on the exterior of the barrel. You really need to get that barrel. Uh, Are, does any of them look like they're going into the barrel? Uh no, they're just kind of slapping the outside of it. The lid is firmly on the barrel. They are okay. slapping your barrel. Uh, so you approach the room. Are you going in? Are you? Um, what do I see when I approach the room? Uh, as you approach the room, you see a uh, similar orientation. However, it's not a tree. It's just a tree stump. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I think that we'll, I'll go in. You're coming with me? Yeah, I want to check out the stump. Yeah. Okay, you're in the room with the stump. Nothing's jumping out and attacking you. I want to observe the stump. Okay, roll d20. Can I also? Yeah. Ooh, not so good here. I want to sneak behind the paint and uh, get a sneak attack on them. Wait, I I'm so got a six again. That's a nine. Uh, eleven. And eleven, you uh, you see that there, the stump looks like someone chopped it down fairly recently. And it looks like there's some fresh marks on it. You are going up behind the pangs. Go ahead and roll a stealth check. Uh, tip, you should roll a perception check for the pang. You haven't been doing any, like, 
uh, cross checks. I rolled an eight. Oh, did you want a DM? Plus, um, <laughs> no, he just wants the backseat drive want, and everything. You rolled a nine? Uh, yeah, nine. Okay, so uh, one of the hunger pangs uh, hears you approaching, turns around, and uh, alerts the other one. Go ahead and roll for initiative. Are they stay fresh, Marks? Uh, 19. I rolled the same thing? Did you check the rules? You might. Okay. Uh, Josh, you are first. All right. Uh... You're about 20 feet away from the set of pangs. All right, I'm gonna run in. Run in and in. I'm gonna and I'm gonna take my my weapon and smack smack, smack the paint into my barrel. I'm gonna. Run I know in the barrel's not open. I'm just like kind of smash them together. Because I hear a, commo- a commotion, so I'm gonna come in with my fork. All right, so you are approaching the doorway. Um, you're not there yet, though. I rolled an 11 to hit. I don't want to be alone, so I'm, I'm going... Forget who wins on ties. Uh, typically attacker. Attacker? Okay. Are you saying that just because you're the attacker? Not sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's Madara rules. It is. is that I why think, I'm thinking I think it? Defender wins on ties. I think Defender does win on ties. So uh, you miss. Okay. Uh, not by much. Pretty close. Okay. Uh, so Pang number one, who uh, I'm going to say is the one that you are attacking first, is going to try and attack you. <laughs> 18. That hits. <laughs> All right. So I have to remember what his actual... Okay, so that's that. Four damage. Oh, yay. Was, those are respectable rolls. Uh, Pang 2, who is on the opposite side of the barrel from you, uh, is getting really frustrated looking, and he, is, he lowers his head and starts to charge at you. <laughs> Am I in the room yet? Uh, does an 11 hit? Uh, just... No, wait. It's my defense, and no. It does not hit. Okay, so he does hit you. He doesn't confirm his crit, though. Okay. <laughs> Attacker wins on ties equals combat doesn't last forever. Attacker no. wins on ties? That, that, that's what your chat's saying. Oh. It equals combat doesn't last forever. <laughs> Uh, he is going to do six damage to you. <laughs> is that the noise you make when you get hit? Well, he, he rammed him right in the, the tummy. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like crawling on the ground, barely alive right now. Am I, am I in the room yet? Uh, you approach the room. I need you to roll for initiative. So roll a d20 and add your uh, grace. I'm standing in the doorway. I'm just observing right now. Nine. Oh, wait. All my bonus. So... 11? Yeah. All right. All right. Go ahead, Josh. Is there anything else in the room, or is there a tree in here or no? Uh, which room was this again? Uh, 17. Crawling around, barely alive, standard Josh procedures. Empty rule. Empty room. Empty room. Okay. Um, you had to go in the room without the tree. Where did Dipperella land on the initiative? You can find out. I need to get the hell out of here. Uh, I'm just running away. You're going to provoke what? an attack of opportunity by two of them because they're both adjacent to you. Can't you hold your turn? What if Dipperella comes after you? You don't have the board this time? No. Um. My barrel. Can I open up my barrel? Your barrel is on the other side of the pangs from you. <clears throat> Maybe. Hear me out. Hear me out. Maybe you use your turn Go. to do your handkerchief check <laughs> trick, and then it distracts them long enough for you to get away. The bright, bright shiny colors? No? Uh, no. Uh, I cast a little spoon. I'm surprised you didn't do that to start. What's little spoon? That's his uh, enchantment check on them. What's um, th- what's the check on it? You have to. It's an arcane. Arcane save. You have to do twelve or higher arcane save. All right. So do you need to roll anything to cast? No, or you no? just have to do a save. You said twelve or higher. 
Yes, he did. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Don't thank worry. you. Uh, the first pang that you attacked initially still looks really pissed off at you, uh, but the second one that lowered his head to headbutt you um, has like an endearing look in his eye right now. He bumped into your tummy and he liked it, so now he's your biffle. All right, I wanna, I wanna grab him. What do you mean grab him? That's rude. Oh, like that? Did you ask him that, if it's okay? Uh, no. That's I, rude. I, want, I, I just want to kind of like <laughs> pick him up lightly and just put him between me and the other pang. But does he want that? Oh, we'll find out. Roll a grace check. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, three. Aren't you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> so you manhandled this pang, and when he thought was going to be his next best friend, uh, has reverted back to being his sworn enemy. Make a manners check, Josh. You don't just grab things. Stephanie, it's your turn. <laughs> I told you you should have stayed your turn. Stephanie was going next. I'm a mind reader. <laughs> oh, <what> they're four? <laughs> <laughs> your fork sails way past. <laughs> I'm assuming you were staying where you were and throwing your fork, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, your fork just sails <laughs> way past everyone uh, and lodges itself in the tangle of vines on the other side <laughs> of the room, 40 oh. feet away. Okay, I... I can I interrupt to stay wa to, to get into the room? I feel like they need help now after seeing that. Where did my roll? Roll for initiative. I don't know what rolled. It wasn't good. Uh, six. Oh, do I, do I add something for my initiative? Uh, you would ask your grace. So plus one. Two. Two. Uh, so eight. eight. All right. I don't know if that changes anything. Uh, so pang number one uh, that you initially attacked, Josh, is uh, going to take a bite of you. Okay. Why? Bye, everyone. I told you <laughs> not to just grab the pang. Does an 18 hit? Yep. I'm dead. You're not you dead. have one health? I have one health, yeah. That's why I was trying to get the hell out of there. Did one damage. Yeah, yeah. So you're knocked out. You don't actually die in Feast of Legends. I'm unconscious. Dead. I'm unconscious. This is taking this a nap. The hunger um, pains hurt too much. Can I run over to go get my fork? Not your turn yet. Uh, and it's your turn. Okay. Um, the Pang's max health, I think, is 17. I was writing notes on stuff. Um, oh, my God. It's like I never played before. Um, what am I rolling? I'm right D20. You running and attacking them? Melee style? Are you throwing something? Well, I have my spatula, which is a heavy. So you're running and attacking. Yeah, I have to run in and okay. attack. You, you didn't say what you were doing, so. I have to run in and attack. <laughs> the barrel's also unconscious. <laughs> Can I shove Josh into the barrel? Okay. Um, oh. Um, that's a one. Oh. <laughs> Did you run in or were you throwing your spatula? No, I was, I was running. Running in. Okay. All right. And, uh, I, and then I rolled a one. Yep. So uh, you you ran in. Yeah. Uh, you are adjacent to the pangs. This and turn. you wind up with a mighty swing of your spatula. Yeah. And you golf club swing the barrel. Yeah. Which uh, then goes uh, uh, flying across the room and starts bouncing around. You see a couple, like, chips start to form in the outside of it. I have a terrible ominous feeling that if this barrel breaks, everything that was in the barrel is going to come back. Maybe little Timmy can help us, though. So maybe <laughs> this is not all bad. And I can, I can use the, check. I can use the lettuce as, like, ranged weapons. The hell? <laughs> five. Okay. It's, it's a five. You don't notice anything. Oh, I do have two <clears throat> sausum sauces, which... We found out does heal, but I don't know that I want to use them yet. <laughs> I don't know. This is All what right. you get for running in by yourself. I feel zero bad for you. Are you look how salty you are right now. You won't even look at me. Uh, and what's your AC? Probably really terrible. Uh, 15. Terrible. 15 is terrible? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, pang number two yeah. uh, goes, th that's the one that uh, wanted to be, uh, Jack Monterey's friend. Can he be my friend? Can I take your little spoon enchantment? He goes to swat at you, but he kind of just caresses your thigh. Yeah, thigh. We, okay, didn't he learn anything about consent? Like now he's do this is what happens. You become conditioned by the way you're treated. Mm -hmm. This is all downhill effect because of you. All right. Um, yeah, Steph, Steph, it's back to your turn. 
check Wait. Monterey's taking a nap. I <laughs> am running after my fork. Uh, what what's movement again? What's base movement? Um, twenty five. Twenty five feet. I wrote yeah. it down. All right. So you would have to take your full turns action to run up and get your fork. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're now on the opposite side of the room from where you were. Uh, you kind of ran around the action and uh, you grabbed your fork. That's the end of your turn. Okay. Um, so. <laughs> Uh, the other pang yeah. uh, kind of tries to hit you, but it's kind of like a Three Stooges thing that's going on <laughs> with the two pangs uh, where they're like missing like really close shots. Uh, and it's kind of really comical because they're about like knee height. <laughs> okay. All right. It's also Good. funny because they killed Josh, but you know, <laughs> Jack Monterey rather. Not killed. They knocked him out. Look at it. There's so much salt on your face right now. And it's your turn. I'm okay. sorry, Baus, it's your turn. Baus. So there's two hunger pangs adjacent to you. Okay, I don't have to move. So can I do two attacks? Yes. So I'm going to attack, it doesn't matter, one. That is not a good number. Uh, that is a nine plus what? Plus your strength. Um, which is five, so that's 14. You have five strength bonus? Uh, four plus one bonus from my burger that I ate today. Roll for damage. Oh, yeah. And then it's 1d10, which is this one. Actually, I think that's my percent die, but it doesn't even matter because it's the same thing. Uh, four. I don't have Jack doing death saving throws, should I? I don't. There are no death saving throws in this game. It's kind of just like you don't die. Okay. Unless the whole party wipes, and then there's a problem. Should I make you do a death? I forget what the rules are for death saving throws. Um, is it D20? If it's greater than 10, then you're fine. And if it's less than 10, you take a damage. And if you take three damage, then you're dead dead. And if you roll like a 20, that. you come back to life. Something like that. Sure, we'll say that. Roll a D20. Uh, 13. All right, you're fine. You interrupted my four damage. Oh, you did four damage? Yeah. So you said to pang one, right? Yeah. All right. Smack cool. it again. Uh, so Pang one, uh, you smack it. He kind of sniffles a little bit, but he just looks just as angry as before. That's so rude. I'm going to hit it again. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, s uh, seven. <laughs> the, s the seven hit? Uh, a seven in total? Yes. Uh, so you go to wind up and you smack the ground in between the two Pangs, causing a big ruffle of grass Dust? and leaves Good. and stuff. It's my warning shot. Uh, all right. After I already hit. So, how many successes do you need to revive, Derek Spot? I think it's three. All right. Uh, pang number two. Uh, it tries to hit you. It still completely is whiffing. Uh, it seems like there's like a force field around you, and he's just like going to either side of you. Uh, like when two nerds try and fist bump each other, and the, <laughs> the hands go in the wrong direction. Yeah, it's like that, but punching you. Uh, Steph, it's your turn. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Jack. Isn't he dead? Like, what do you want, your last leg? Eleven. It's a positive, right? Mm -hmm. So, two. Three to stabilize. Though if you get healed, you do become conscious again. Gotcha. Thank you, chat. I appreciate it. My rules are a little rusty. Um, Steph, Dipperella, Dipperella, it is your turn. All so right. you're about 20 feet away from the closest one. And how far can I travel? 25 feet with a movement. Okay, so I'll go to the closest one. Okay, that would be pang number two. And then I'm going to throw my fork at it. Well, if you're adjacent, Attack. you don't have to throw it. You can just hit well, it. Stabby, stabby. it with, I'm going to stab it with my fork. Okay, so go ahead and roll a d20. That's very specific. <laughs> What'd you roll? A three. a three. Do I add anything to it? Strength, strength. strength modifier. So that number one. right there. A one. <laughs> because of her gear. Uh, so you rolled a four. So you go to stab, and much like the pangs from the first episode, they're so small that they go in between the tines of your fork spear. And uh, you don't touch them at all. Mm. It's a valiant effort. All right. So uh, pang number one uh, manages to kind of slap the boss uh, in the tummy. That's and it, rude. It, that, it doesn't hurt. They just slapped your tummy. First they're after my thighs. <laughs> now they're after my belly. Like, I know they're short, but this is way too close for he's comfort. Re he's reaching above his head. I think they're telling you a sign. <laughs> Lay off the fast food. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> my fat 
thunder thighs and my jiggly That's belly? That's why you don't feel it. It's just kind of poking you. That's so rude. <laughs> <laughs> it's just reverberating off. Oh, my God. It's like a gong. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much. Purely joking. Nothing happens. Uh, the boss, it is your turn. Can I? Is there a better name? I don't want to refer to you as the boss. No, I'm Gus. enjoying this so much. Gus Bus. Gus the Bus. No, okay, we're not doing this. Another three. Jokes. <laughs> yeah, it was. So that's really. Um, was it that's really a, another three? Yeah, it was. That was eight. Okay. Uh, so you're doing a really good job of tilling the soil around the baddies. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> Would you like another set of dice again? These are the dice you gave me. Like, is this? Was this what this? Oops. What did you roll? A two. Like I didn't oh, do. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we went the wrong direction. You're right? right now. What you're doing is you're Donkey Kong, uh, donkey <laughs> slapping the the ground like that, like with your. There's your always the option spatula. of the Jersey version of the boss. It's the Jersey version. Uh, all right. So Pang number two was rather annoyed uh, of the fact that you are trying to stab him with your fork, Dipperella. Mm -hmm. What's your AC? Def defense. 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 Twelve. All right. Uh, the pang uh, manages to get through uh, on the underside of your cape, and it bites you right on your kneecap uh, and deals you two damage directly. Do I do anything else? You, you have to reduce your hit points oh. by the two. Yeah. On the kneecap? Yeah, on the kneecap. This is really rude. Your right kneecap. Specifically. Yes, yeah, specifically. Specifically. Josh? Are you dead? Girl, the three. So that is a negative. negative. So does a negative take away a positive? Or no, it's just I think it's the first to three. Okay, gotcha. All right. Uh, Steph, it's your turn. I'm going to attack them again. Attack the same one you tried. To, the yeah. one that bit you. In the yeah. kneecap. Okay. So it's plus strength? Yep. Yeah. Seven. Okay. So you underestimate how short this pang is, and you whoosh right over his head as you stab into the air. But I'm she's going to do it again. Okay. Now she's got a guide for how... <laughs> Six. You tried to compensate for their low height. However, <laughs> you compensated far too much, and you stab into the ground the with table. your fork. <laughs> it's the table. What's your ACM? 15. All right. So uh, the pang in front of you is gnashing in his teeth, um, but he doesn't seem to be able to open his mouth wide enough to get it over your ample-sized legs. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Eric Bob wants to know if the barrel's still bouncing around. Uh, the barrel is just kind of sitting off into the corner. No one's paying any attention to the barrel this right now. Uh, and it's your turn. <laughs> different dice. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, you could ask me to heal your barrel on your turn, no? <laughs> heal me, not my barrel. <laughs> <laughs> what do they really care about, though, Joshua? <laughs> could you put the sauce on the barrel and see what happens? <laughs> yeah. Oh, There's a six, so that we're just going to pretend like that didn't happen. There we go. Uh, Fifteen. All right, so with your first swing, uh, you go to so slice underneath the uh, the pang, and he jumps up and kind of stands on your blade, uh, like Luke Pang style <laughs> from Kill Bill, and he starts taunting you, but then you circle it back around and smack him upside the head, roll for damage. Uh, three. All right, uh, so you do three damage to the pang. Uh, yeah. He stumbles a little bit, uh, but he still has that gleam of, you know, right? <laughs> anger. Oh, is that what that is? Anger. <laughs> Carnal anger, like. <laughs> I don't. Matt, if I feel my barrel chicken nuggets, will it heal? <laughs> chicken nuggies. Oh, yeah, you have chicken nuggies. No, I you? ate the chicken nugget earlier, I think, when I got hurt. Uh, uh, pang number two licks your other kneecap. <laughs> Ooh. It's going to uh, a little weird. <laughs> so you have like a tongue like a cat or is it barbed? Yeah, is it a barbed tongue? Uh, it's it's noticeably rough, <laughs> but it doesn't damage your armor. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Do you it, it does produce a sound kind of like nails on a chalkboard. That's less enjoyable. Uh, 
Josh, go ahead and make your save. 11. All right, so you have stabilized. stabilized. It's not going to die. That's good. There's that. Steph, it's your turn. Mm. I say go to the barrel and put the healing sauce on it and see what yeah, happens. Yeah, can I heal the barrel? Uh, the barrel is about 20 feet away from you at the moment. And if you move towards the barrel, then you would provoke an opportunity attack against it. Uh, I'm going to attack some more. Okay. Same one that just licked you. Yeah. Uh, does the pang lick some stray sauce off can her I try armor to and heal? No, because she cleaned her armor when they rested. Can I try to use my fork to brush its hair, like Ariel style? <laughs> <laughs> She's trying her own little spoon. She's trying to win it over. Are are you trying? That's how you make friends. I, you, okay. Girls make friends by brushing each other's hair R and things like that. Roll a d20 and add your charm. <laughs> God, I hope you do a 20. <laughs> what did I get? Five. Five plus 12. One. Yep. Oh, okay. I'm oh, 12. sorry. Uh, roll a d20 again. <laughs> Be a 20. Okay. Uh, 17. So you try Plus and be one. really polite, and you go to, like, give it scritches behind its ear with your giant fork, and you accidentally stab its head. Roll for damage. <laughs> this one? Yeah, D20. No, not no, D20. Damage. I'm sorry, not D20. Jesus. Uh, whatever your weapon is. I don't know what your weapon it should say. On oh, your, D4. Yeah, D4. Not after. Yeah, D4, not after. Should convince the pangs you were trying Four. to help them get free of Jack's control. I mean, we were. Uh, so, yeah, you accidentally stab the pang in the head. Uh, you see a considerable amount of black ooze coming out of it. Uh, but he doesn't look very good. At the same time, he still looks very, very upset at you. He thought he was going to get some loving. Uh, but stab this, him in the head. Is this Aww. the same pang that was friends with Jack Monterey? Yeah. And he disregarded He's them. got a whole life of betrayal ahead. I mean, I feel badly for this pang. He's been betrayed by attempts of friendship over yeah. and over again. Yeah. It's traumatizing. Whose turn is it? Uh, now you don't do anything, right, Josh? At this point, pretty in, much. I'm just like in on general the floor. in life. Yeah. Or just this game. So Steph, it's your turn. You don't do anything again. Anne doesn't do anything. Steph went. That's oh. Steph's turn just oh. ended. Oh, whoops. Sorry, had it backwards. Uh, no. So Peng one goes. Uh, and your AC is fine. So Peng one. Um, he he goes to. Uh, he jumps up and opens his mouth as far as he can. I hate you. And he can't seem to I get it you. around your arm. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Manona arms! You had to go there! As the low-hanging <laughs> arm meat. Did he bite her weenus? <laughs> he was trying to. He couldn't open his mouth enough. Oh, my God! Leave Manona arms alone! <laughs> you leave them alone? <laughs> I'm so self-conscious about my Nona. And it's your turn. You oh, have a really nice weenus, though. Thanks. You want to touch my weenus later? Yeah. Oh, uh, hey now. <laughs> Eleven. <sighs> All right. You do nothing. So you uh, you go to smack the pang, and it comes <laughs> infinitesimally <laughs> close. You kind of like scrape across the top of the little Ooh. hairs on the top of its head with your spatula. Because we're just trying to brush its hair. You fan him a little bit in the process. He feels cooler. Like hipper? Yeah. Um, eight, 18. Roll for does damage. An eight, does an 18 hit? Yeah, 18 will hit. Uh, uh, that long line. What number is that? <laughs> that's, a one. that's a one. <laughs> is that what that is? So you yeah. wind up as hard as you can, and you bring your spatula down onto his head. You, eh. Dink. And, it, yeah, you hear, like, a little dink. And uh, he, he stumbles a little bit, but uh, he's still looking pissed off at you. Yeah, I'm sure he is. All right. That one pang, um, it runs, tries to run up to you uh, to attack you. However, in the process, the, the ooze that was coming out of his head where you stabbed him uh, fell on the ground, and he kind of just scooby dooed in place, <laughs> and he didn't really move anywhere. Uh, so, uh, Steph, it's your turn. Okay, so I'm going to go try to brush him with my fork <laughs> again. <laughs> Six plus one, seven. Wait, yeah. Plus. 
Okay, so he uh, he backs away from you as you try to brush him with your fork, and nothing happens. It's okay, little guy. It's okay. It's okay. Eleven. He's still very untrustworthy <laughs> given the current events of what happened and does not trust you to brush him, especially after the blood that's oozing out of him <laughs> is what caused him to stumble on the ground. Nothing happens. <gasps> Such bad rolls. Yeah, it's like last night. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Did your crit not confirm? Yeah. Uh, so the Pang finally learns, with an audible click, he unhinges his jaw, <laughs> <laughs> and then latches onto your arm, I hate you. causing four points of damage. I hate you and my known arms. <laughs> you feel an odd tickling sensation as his tongue sloshes no, back. Stop! No, stop! No, we're done. No. <laughs> <laughs> And it's your turn. I hate you. Now I'm angry. Why is it going so <laughs> Nine? <laughs> Does a nine hit? Um, you try to hit... <laughs> 18 better. again. Yeah. So you try to hit, but he's still attached to your arm. Uh, as you swing around, he falls off, and you spin around in a circle and slap him upside the head, three causing points of damage. three points of damage. Uh Okay, he's uh he's kind of stumbling around a lot more. He's got kind of a glazed over look in his eyes. <laughs> Boss's arm is getting digested. No. Uh and uh Peng Tu um is just timidly looking at you and like slowly backing away, not much, like maybe a couple inches at a time, but just kind of doing the There's so much trust going on here, like trust issues and it's okay, little guy. It's okay. Steph, it's your turn. I'll, I'll be real gentle. <laughs> Hopefully their spit isn't poisonous or acidic. I'll be real, real gentle. <laughs> 16. <laughs> Super gentle. You trying to attack it or pet its hair still? She's trying to pet its hair still. <laughs> uh, he, well, I don't know. I'm be real gentle. Sounds like I'm going to stab you in the head again. <laughs> Yeah, what, yeah. What, you were, what were you? What was your intent? Yeah, what was your intent there? Stabbing him in the head again. Oh, you were trying to stab him <laughs> in the head that time? Okay. Uh, so go ahead and roll for damage. Two. Two. All right. So uh, as he's backing away and trying to swat it, you kind of parry his hand out of the way and uh, get him, like, right in the nose with the fork, and you do two points of damage to him. I feel like getting hit the tip of the nose is much more painful than two points of damage. Just It's painful, but it doesn't cause as much physical damage. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, so it's, um, Hi! <laughs> All right. So uh, Pang number one uh, has uh, a nice chunk of Nona arm meat in his tummy. He tries to jump up again. Because uh, it was so delicious the, but the and garlicky. But the extra weight weighs him down, and he can't jump up high enough, and he just chomps right underneath. I hate you. <laughs> it's your turn, Ann. You could be me taking a nap. Uh, 18. Go ahead. Seven. How do you want to do that? <laughs> I want to reach down his throat back after my chunk of Nona arm and pull out his esophagus. Okay, so you reach down into his innards. Yeah. You feel around, you grab a chunk of your, your Nona arm back. Yeah. As you pull it out, yeah. uh, you find that he's got like barbs going down his throat That's in rude. the wrong direction. But you have such amazing <laughs> strength and determination, sheer will, that you rip his uh, esophagus clean out of his body, out follows all of the innards, you kind of paste your arm back into place uh, with all of the goo from his tummy, and uh, the the pang starts to evaporate into thin air. And a little bit of sauce destroyed. will heal that up, right? Just you know, a little bit of sauce to stick it back yeah, together. Stick it. So that was my first attack. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, how far am I from Pang to? Uh, he is uh, a five feet away, so you can hit him from where you're standing. Adjacent. Yeah. I feel so bad for this little guy. Stab it in the face. I don't know if I should hit it or, like, save it. Hit it. 
can we make it into sauce? <laughs> well, this appears when it dies. Yeah, you've seen them evaporate when they die. Can I make it a pet? Would you like to try? Yes. Roll a charm check. Okay. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Describe your action. Did okay. you add your plus two? Yes, because I rolled a six. Okay. It was not very good. Describe your action. I, w I walk over and... Oh, he just... Come here, little guy. Come here. Is that what you do? Yeah, like a puppy? Like, come here. I'll keep you safe. Come here. Come here. He was trying to be friends with everybody else. He was, like, willing to be people's friends, and I feel bad, and I just want to keep him safe. He bites at your fingertips and snarls at you, but he does not uh, manage to clamp down on your hands. He's got trust issues. I'm okay with this. I Steph, it's your turn. Willing to put in the time and the work. I want to give him that final blow. <laughs> Does a seven hit? Uh, no, no, it does not. <laughs> oh, the twelve to hit. So uh, that's called a rhetorical question, Joshua. Thank you for mansplaining it to me. The okay. pang kind of does the uh, the Matrix move where he like Ow. goes backward like that and like dodges your fork thrust. <gasps> Seventeen. Roll for damage. I think that that hits. <laughs> One. All right, so you go and you. Thrust down your fork with a mighty downward strike, uh, kind of like in the movies, like where Heimdall takes a sword and shoves it into the ground, and it goes about a quarter of an inch deep into the pang, causing one point of damage. A quarter of an inch <laughs> deep for one point of damage? That's, uh, that's serious. Like, the fork's sticking out of him, but he's not bleeding profusely. Yeah. <laughs> and it's your turn. Like how no one tried to help you at all. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna stay my turn. Okay. I feel bad for this guy. I've become emotionally invested. The pang sits there and snarls. Doesn't really do anything. Yeah. Uh, Steph's turn. My turn? Yeah. I gotta let Steph do what she's gotta do, but I feel like... I'm emotionally invested, and I can't be the one to give it a final blow. Can I throw a sauce at Josh? At no, don't help Jack Josh. Monterey. No, you can leave him there. You can. He's he's fine. Will it heal him if I if it hits? You can find out. Do what not. Do I don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Okay, you I gotta listen to the boss. So, <laughs> boss, what do you think I should do? I, look, I, I can't be involved <laughs> with the critter with the pang. I can't. You, you know, you just, I trust your instincts. Okay, let's try to deal with this pang. What's the pang sitting on right now? Like, how much health does he have? You can't ask me that, but you could ask me how he's looking right how now. How's he looking? Uh, the pang. Uh, he's bleeding profusely he's, from he's his head, and he's got a fork sticking out of his face. Like, Well, he doesn't have the fork still sticking oh. out. She's got it in her hand. But uh, he's he's bleeding a fair amount from his head. Uh, you remember from your time as a, uh, a field medic, you know, back in the great uh, <laughs> restaurant wars, that uh, head wounds just typically <laughs> tend to bleed a lot more than other wounds. Uh, yeah. So you don't think he's in as bad a shape as he actually looks. Mm. Whatever. I'll, I'll go to attack him again. Why do I keep getting that? <laughs> And uh, again, I'm going to nine. Does okay. a nine hit? Uh, so both your attacks, you do a fantastic thrust with the fork, and you go to either side of the pang, who <sighs> kind of olays it like uh, Jim Carrey in the mask with the bullets. And like, Olay. I want to take my turn Kay. to get the barrel. Uh, are you moving away from the pang? Oh, that's right. I'm adjacent to the pang. Yes. What's your AC? 15. The pain grabs onto your ankle, and you feel its claws like start to dig in, but you, you pull away. It's my emotions. I want it as a pet, and he grabs for me, and I'm torn, and I'm walking away. Okay. 
The barrel's and then about 20 feet away. All of a sudden, I hear in the arms of an angel playing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very emotional experience for me. Um, Hi, I'm Sarah <laughs> McLaughlin. How far is the barrel? Do I get to the barrel in? Uh, one action, yeah, 20 feet away. And then can I use my second to pick up the barrel? You sure I'm, g- I'm going to open my eyes wearily on the ground. I'm just going to yell at her, don't touch my barrel, bitch. <laughs> that was rude. Also, he's unconscious, so I think he was doing Oh, I'm stabilized. Her. I'm not. He's stabilized. He's just feebled. Can yeah. she throw the barrel back at me when she reaches it? Uh, her act- Well, do you want to pick up the barrel or do you want to shot put the barrel? I want to put the pang in the barrel. Is it? It's well, if I, but it's breaking. No, I want to pick it up because I'm s- worried that if I throw the barrel, it'll shatter. Okay. So you pick up the barrel. That is the end of your turn. Yeah. What's your uh, defense, Stephanie? Twelve. Okay. So the uh, the pang is just kind of sitting and hissing at you like an angry kitty cat. <laughs> He's an angry kitty cat. He's angry. Steph, it's your turn. Okay. I'm going to attack him. Okay. 17. All right. Roll for damage. <laughs> One, One damage. Damage. Uh, you you kind of slap him with the fork, and it rakes across the side of his face, leaving some, some deep gouges, uh, but do one point of damage. He, he's still looking not too happy with you. Bleeding a lot from the head, but otherwise looking still pretty jacked, you know, for mm-hmm. like a th- <laughs> for a two foot hang. Like he's really buff. Uh, and it's your turn. Uh, Was that your second attack or first attack? Oh, first attack. I'm sorry. Go again. Thank you, Josh. Uh, you a three. <laughs> <laughs> Does it hit? Uh, uh, the pang. Does he laugh at me? <laughs> he, yeah, he he kind of he drops to the floor. And to, to does dodge he show me his belly? No, he does not. He does not show you his he belly. He doesn't do the truffle shuffle. He she went like a cat, like on the floor, like. Oh. No, he's he's not there yet. I thought it was. And it's your turn. Uh, I want to walk back to the pang with the barrel. Okay. And I want to attempt to put the pang in, put the barrel over the pang, like put the pang in the barrel. Roll a strength check. Oh, okay. That was terrible. Okay, I just add my. Just like an attack, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, 13. Okay, so you go, the barrel is hovering over the pang's head, and last second he reaches up and he grabs it, and with very, very surprising strength, he grunts and he hoists it and uh, shoves it off of him. You maintain your grip on it, but it kind of floats over to the other side of you. Holy not that's a barrel. Nobody asked you. Is the barrel over by me now? Hey, she's still holding it. What's your AC? 15. I s- saw your face light up. Uh, the pang, now seeing that you're holding this barrel and you're trying to put him in it, starts to panic like when you're trying to put a cat in a cat carrier. Yeah. Uh, and he starts lashing out at you and he rakes across the sh- your shin, your left shin, with his claws. Uh, they don't go very deep into your armor, though, so it does one point of damage. <laughs> Slot wrangling cat. Slot cat wrangling. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it's Steph's turn. Is the barrel adjacent to me now, or? Uh, the <laughs> boss is holding the barrel, and it is about 10 feet away from you. Okay, so I'm going to go with my fork and attack. Okay, you're going to fork the pang. Mm-hmm. Night. Oh, uh, is 16? that? Yeah. 17 Plus then. One. Uh, roll for damage. Four. Ooh, more damage. You <laughs> you go and you start to helicopter your fork in between your hands. And as you go and swing it across your body, the edge catches the pang just right and gets underneath his chin and chops his head off. Yes. Uh, as his head is slowly flying away, he makes a hissing sound. And then his body and his head slowly dissolve right before his head hits the ground. <laughs> Congratulations, you've destroyed Yay! the hunger pains. Hunger pains, hunger pains. 
Uh, so you are all in this empty room now, um, and you are still holding the barrel. And Jack Monterey is uh, lounging on the I floor, kind of groaning. Search Dip the room for more ingredients. Dipperella, do you still have that healing sauce? I do. I got two healing sauces. Look, the only reason I hired Jack was because of this big stupid barrel, and it looks like he hasn't done a really great job of taking care of it. What did you do to my barrel? Shut up. I think that we should try putting a little bit of the healing sauce on the barrel. I mean, it's magical healing sauce after all. Yeah. I agree. Are you grabbing the barrel and you're you're taking one of your sauces and like rubbing it into the barrel? Yeah. yeah. So like, how are you doing? Are you putting the sauce in the like, barrel? Like wax no. on, wax off. All like the little holes, the places where it's been scratched up or whatever. We're just finishing it up, okay. like a nice wax job. And uh, wax how much? Off. What's your health at? Did you take any? You have. I got ten health. health. And how much does your sauce heal for? I forgot what I said it did. 1d4. 1d4. Uh, go ahead and roll. Um, yeah, roll 1d4, Steph. Three. All right. So uh, you notice that all of the cracks and scrapes, uh, as minor as they were on the barrel, start to disappear. Uh, and the barrel starts looking brand new. At the same time, uh, the cuts and scrapes that you had on your hands uh, that you took during the battle, uh, you see that they kind of... Look like they partially healed a little bit, so you, nice. you you heal one point of damage. That's so super nice. That's super super nice. Does my arcana help at all with my healing? Uh, no. It's for spellcasting, <laughs> not potions. Sauces. Sauces. And then I also wanted to like search the room, see if we can find anything to procure of us. Uh, you know what I mean. Yeah. Go ahead and roll. I like 20. it. I want to grab my barrel back. I, I want to start walking back to the campsite and say, I need a nap. We have your barrel. No, you don't even it. ask. Taking it. What does he have to do to We're not leaving the hands. room until we search the room. So what did you do with the barrel after you had massaged the sauce into it, Steph? 11. Well, we just have it sitting next to us. Okay. So Jack Monterey approaches and goes to make a move to grab the barrel. Is anyone stopping him? Bueller. Bueller. Yes, I want to stop him. All right, so do you grab the barrel also? Yes. All right. No, you're... I want to swat his hand away. Roll a d20. Me too. What's your AC? Uh, 11. I rolled a 12. What am I adding? Uh, you slap his hand away and do one point of damage. Which is enough to knock him unconscious. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> Solve so many of my problems. <laughs> can, I, can I shove him in the barrel? You could try. How, what do I need to roll? Uh, roll strength check. All right. God, I hope I fit in the barrel. Uh, 10, 15. Uh, <laughs> so you pick up Jack Monterey and you start to stuff him into the barrel that's upright. Uh, about three quarters of the way through, uh, he comes to. What the fuck are you doing, lady? <laughs> if I put you here, you won't cause any trouble. I'm just going to find you and keep you in one piece, and you won't run off. You won't break the barrel. Roll it's okay. Check. You won't have to walk now. We'll just roll you along. I'm an idiot. I don't. I have no idea. Uh, f uh, seven. You have no spatial recognition. Uh, in real life or in this game? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, what are you doing? I can't fit. Uh, I'm assuming she put my butt first into the barrel. No, yeah. face first. No, oh, no, no. It was it was butt first. How, how do I get his feet feet in? No, no, no. no you, like you, you bear hugged him around the waist and you lowered his feet in like that, and then like he was about up to his shoulders. Uh, so are my feet in the barrel? He's like your folded feet are, your feet with are, his <gasps> butt in the bottom. Yeah, your feet are in the <laughs> barrel. And your arms are kind of sticking out, so it kind of looks like you're taking a jacuzzi in okay. this barrel. It's really tight fit though. All right. Uh. I want to like tuck my elbows in, and I'm just gonna shift my weight and like roll away in the barrel. Roll a grace check. Oh, I hope you mess this one up too. Uh, sixteen. Fine. Okay, so you knock the barrel on its side, and you somehow have a very good sense of direction in this. You <laughs> obviously had this barrel, uh, and you've been playing with it for a very long time, and you start to roll out the door of this room. What was your uh, perception I still check? want to stay in the room and check yep. it out. 
10 plus what? Uh, your intelligence. Intel. 11. Right, so you look around the room, and uh, really, it's an empty room. You see uh, where your fork stuck into the wall. Um, you see, like, a spot where it went in. It didn't look like it caused any damage, uh, but otherwise, it's just vines everywhere and the entrance that you came in. I'm going to get my fork back. You have your you fork have back already. You grabbed, uh. you grabbed it earlier. Um, he's rolling out of the room. Yeah, which direction are you going? I'm going back to the campsite. Okay. Boss. Um, I want to go into the, the great unknown. I think we came into this room and got what we wanted. Jack Monterey will inevitably pop up again to drive us crazy. I mean, I could use my healing powers on him if we want to just take a quick break to the campsite. That's fine. I guess we kind of need him and that barrel. We spent the time to fix the barrel, and we can't let him destroy it. Okay, so uh, you all converge back at campsite on spot number 13. Uh, are you lighting a fire, or are you just resting? Um, what do I have to do to I forget what your I naturally heal, but... I forget what your ability is for lighting a fire. Did you write just down Just fire breath. No, she has an no, ability, No, she's got though. a campfire ability. No, oh, like, yeah. when we're at the campsite, I, it, it light a, I naturally light a fire, and he heals. Is that what it is? You just automatically light a yeah. fire? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so you light a fire. Um, you feel very safe by the fire. You don't feel like there's any pangs that are going to pop up and uh, Do we mess with Jack Monterey. All uh, heal? You all rest, and you all receive full health. You're feeling much better now. Do yeah. I lecture Jack Monterey in <laughs> appropriate barrel care? That's completely up to you. Yeah. What are you doing? We wasted some of our very precious healing sauces to fix your barrel because you can't be trusted with anything because you're irresponsible and childish and rash and you run off. <clears throat> Can I ask what do the golden nuggets do? Roll an arcana check. 15 plus 5, 20. You, you feel a presence with these nuggies. And uh, you feel that there's more to them than just being a golden nugget. More than meets the eye? Um, and you know what? You especially, because you've got such a history in sauces, you feel like something happens with the nuggets and the sauces. <gasps> Do you like have if more I... sauces? What does she have on her? She has her so one last packet of sauce and sauce. <sighs> yeah. Um. I don't want to use it yet, though. No, I think you're right. I kind of want to dunk my nuggie in your sauce. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Can I make a sauce? I really hold with on. I nugget? really hope someone makes that a quote. I really want someone Don't to make that. Don't encourage that. Quote. that. Make it a quote, <laughs> Sorry, what was that, Steph? Can I make a sauce with it or No, it's no. right now it's a solid gold nuggy. Okay. But it feels magically different. Delicious. It could add something to a sauce use. It does something when interacting with the sauce that you what can if you think of. Dunk the nuggy in the sauce and the nuggy transforms. What was that called? What's it called? Transformer? No. It's more than meets the eye. What is the science of trying to make Alchemy. Thank you. Nuggy alchemy. Yes. Maybe this Nug is me? Yes. <laughs> Nug me. I mean what could be better than gold nuggies? Now I mean, you can't really eat gold nuggies. So they're not really that great. You That's could gold. really try, you could probably eat one. My dentist hole. told me I can't chew anything hard. So. You don't have to chew it. You just have to swallow it. Yeah. Instead of just the really boss. Really, though? What? Instead of the boss, do you want to be, like, the nug boss? No, I feel this like nugget? that's going to get real bad or real you quick. Or can, you can get um, the, the finger rings, and it says boss nugs. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. No. Okay, so we'll leave the, we're leaving the nuggies alone, and we're continuing on our adventure. All right, so you are going back up the path of 14 as it winds around. 
Uh, you see these four rooms on the sides. Uh, you were last exploring room number 18, and then room number 17 is where the commotion was. And then straight ahead, you see like a clearing in the distance, but with some vines hanging in front of it. Yeah. So 18, they just are uh, stomp, right? Correct. How many the stomp? You don't know. You didn't go in the room. That's metagaming. Goodbye. I'm walking. We're walking through it now. I'm asking how big. We're not walking I'm through looking, it. I'm looking we're at walking 18. past it. Roll a d20. Shot him in the barrel. 17. And just keep uh, So 18. 18. You see that it's a pretty sizable stump, um, but from a distance, the light catches part of where the knot was, and you see something. I'll go check it out. Oh, he's going to get more money, and then I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Roll d20. Do I notice that uh, he's disappeared? What am I doing? Roll d20, Ann. What check I'm am I doing? I'm lying. You're, uh, perception. And you, uh, you notice 17. that he's gone into this room like a homing missile. <laughs> Uh, 17, yep. you peer I'm down. I want to watch him. Is he look. still inside of his barrel? No. <laughs> no, no. He's, he's walking with his barrel now. Oh, good. Unsightly Swiss Moose Corgi Derp. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, as you approach the knot where you see the uh, bit of glittery uh, area that was shining back at you, yeah. you notice a little like metal triangle. Uh, it's got two straight edges and an edge that's a little bit jagged like it's been snapped off of something. Do you know how triangles work? <laughs> oh, is that the piece missing from the the placard? Might be. As I'm watching I'm pop it out. him, do we see what he's got? Uh, Can I s- you see him fiddling with the knot. Um, you pop out the placard. Okay. What do you... I'm going to just slide it right into my pocket. Okay. Did I watch him do him it? distract us when he was getting attacked by those Roll of perception. hangs. I hope I... Uh, seven. You try to examine, but Jack Monterey, the master of sleight of hand, is not seen in his endeavors. Nothing at Wendy's is shaped like a triangle. Because <laughs> they don't cut corners. Except a corner is a triangle. If you cut it off, it's a triangle. That's why they don't... Because they don't cut them. Right. That's why there's no triangles. Anyways. What? <laughs> Uh, right. Anything else I noticed, or that that was it? Uh, no, you kind of look around the room. It's just a really big stump. Okay. I'm venture forth. I was gonna say forward, and then I became. I'm gonna let and the boss take the lead. Yeah, I wanna Who said that. I needed your permission? You're gonna let me do it. I'm not it. gonna try to run in front of you. I'm just. Th- gonna that's like, what you can say. You can say that. I'm gonna I let you take the lead. I'm gonna stab you in the neck. I'm gonna let you keep your aorta in place. How about that? Okay. All right. I'm going to let him keep his aorta intact. Yeah, I want to go to that the clearing. clearing. All right, so uh, the boss is going in first. Is that what I yep. heard there? So the boss, as you go in, you kind of part the vines. It's kind of like one of those college bead curtains that you go through. <laughs> um, and as you is go there a through lava it, lamp? You no. Know, uh, as you go through, you see four huge trees, like columns, near the Ooh. center of the room. This room is gigantic, it's about 150 feet in diameter, in a circle. Uh, we already established <laughs> that I have no spatial sense. Yeah, it's big. It's big. Okay. It's pretty damn big. <laughs> Sorry. It's big. Uh, so for context, that's like half the size of a football field. Okay. Football fields are bigger on TV than in real life. No, because your TV is smaller than it actually is. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Wonka vision. It has to be real, big in real life so <laughs> that by the time it gets to your Thank TV, you, Eric, it's... Normal that makes sense. <laughs> so uh, you w- you walk into the room. What about the rest of the the party? I, I'm gonna like peer my head into the room and watch what's going on as she walks in. All right, you peer your head into the room and kind of like a breeze rustles across the the branches of the trees. Joshua, I want to run up to one of the trees and explore. All right, so you hand about is down. You're gonna go fix it and make it go twice. I'm just asking. Go fix it in a second. Wait, just let, let's finish this right. Okay. Now. So, Josh, you're you're still sticking your head in, or what are you doing? Uh, I'm, I want to look around the room. Big room, four huge trees, Nothing. 150 feet around. It's just a it's it's awe inspiring how big this room is. Okay. And it just made of plants, and you're like, this is weird. Is that what I say? I mean, that's what Josh says. What are you, what are you okay. doing, Ann? or the boss? 
Uh, you, I was going to, I mean, I'm standing here. I'm in awe at the size of this room. I kind of wanted to do a perception check to see if I noticed other thing, anything other than the vast space. Um, I don't know anything. Five. Does so five tell me anything? You think the room's kind of big. You're not sure how big. Again, back to my <coughs> poor sense of spatial sense. I'm going to walk slowly in the room and do a perception check. All right. Go ahead. As you walk into the room, the door slams shut behind you, causing an area of no escape. Do I notice that? I uh, feel like no. You, you do. Okay. So the breeze picks up and blasts through the room, shaking the trees and leaves and branches around you. It's like you're in a wind tunnel. Everything's going crazy. There's a big swirl of leaves going around. And then the great beast, Hunger, whose magic now controls this forest, swoops down, down on frayed and weary wings. The beast has two large curved horns upon his head, and its eyes are sewn shut, though it sees perfectly. Sewn shut? Yeah. That's terrifying. Yeah. It reeks with the stench of desperation. Its name is John. <laughs> 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 I'm uh, so, uh, yeah, get ready for a fight, y'all. Uh, Josh, you can go fix Pandabot at this point. Uh, roll for... Um... Oh, I rolled a one. <laughs> I rolled a ten for my... Uh... In, in, initiative. In, initiative, thank you. I'm going to say influence. All right. So what did everyone roll? Do we add something to this one? I always forget. I don't think so. Grace. Oh, uh, my grace? Yeah. Oh, so a three. I got a 12. What did Josh roll? 10? Yeah. All right. So. No, he rolled a nine, and he added his one grace. Okay. Okie doke. So. You two are such adorable dorks wearing matching Star Wars shirts. Thank you. <laughs> you just noticed that now that we have it covered no, up? No. I mean, I just, like, felt the need to make the comment. I noticed what I noticed earlier. It was adorable. <coughs> do, 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 Did you fix it, Josh? Probably not. Mm. All right, so in terms of where everything is, Dipperella is near the center of the room uh, where she ran up to the first tree. So uh, she's not the center because they're spaced evenly. Let's say she's about 50 feet into the room. Uh, the boss, you are about t uh, 10 feet into the room, and uh, Josh, you are about 5 feet into the room. So Dipperella is kind of further off than everyone, and this giant hunger beast just landed in the clearing in between Dipperella and the boss. So it's roughly 20 feet in between both of are you. Are we flanking? Do we get a flanking bonus? If you are both adjacent to it. Um, how big is this creature? Uh, you can't just ask people that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is uh, pretty massive. It's like the size of a large horse. Okay. Why? A dire pony, you would say? <laughs> no, a large horse. <laughs> It's not quite as, Where as stocky going? as a dire pony. Is this going back to the ducks and the horse conversation? No, I was curious if it could fit in my barrel or not. That that was 100% what this conversation was about. <laughs> not letting it put this in the barrel. <laughs> uh, all right, so... How big is its head? Its head is like the size of... You're not sticking its head in the barrel <laughs> like a falcon head. It's, it's <laughs> like half the size it? of you. Okay. You're going to try and stick the head in the barrel. All right. So. Um, Poor little Timmy. Let's see. I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to have it do this. So the uh, the hunger beast uh, lands in the middle of the room and uh, it sees someone cradling the uh, tree that it was roosted in, uh, despite its own eyes. And uh, it runs up to Dipperella. And uh, Dipperella, what is your AC, your your defense? 12. All right, so it runs up to you. Uh, it says it sees everything, but at the same time, its eyes are sewn, shown, sewn shut. So he kind of just smacks his head against the tree, causing it to shake a little bit, uh, but that's about it. Does anything come out of the tree? Uh, leaves. <laughs> uh, so, Steph, it's your turn. All right, so... He's now adjacent to you. Is he between me and the boss, or the boss still has to? He is between go you and the boss. Uh, the up boss, to us. the boss is still like forty feet away from it. So it's not flanking bonus because I'm not adjacent. Correct. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if I want to attack yet. 
all by my lonesome. You could hold your action. So what that means is you say that you're not doing anything right now, and whenever you want to interrupt in between now and your next turn, you can take your turn. Okay. So if that's something you want to do, you can do that. Yeah, I, I kind of want to wait for support. It's probably a good idea. It's very smart. Uh, Josh, it's your turn. Oh God, How far away am I? Uh, right now, you're about 40, 45 feet away. Between 40 and 45. Feet. So you would need two movements to get up adjacent. Uh, the trees are kind of like in corners, and he's uh, like in the middle. It's so the trees are oriented so that they're inset in, so a kind of like they're in column position, so four squares in the center of the room like that. And then he's here? Uh, no, Dipperella is by the first tree, uh, by you on the right-hand side, so she ran up there. Okay. The entrance is by where the plaque is by you. Okay, up against so the there. entrance, so Dipperella's like here? Yeah, the Dipperella and the monster are right around there. Okay. Um, I, I want to, yeah, I want to get closer, but I want to kind of go around the edge and like kind of stay out of, even though we can't see, I want to stay out of like... His awareness. All right. I want to kind of sneak around. All right. So you sneak uh, around to the front, and it would be a double move to get um, yeah. kind of most of the way around. Can yeah. you, like, climb up the tree and attack him from above? I mean, you could try. Uh, it Just is uh, Anne's turn. I want to run up to the monster opposite and adjacent. From where Dipperella is? Yeah. Okay. So that's both of your actions. Yes. Okay. And so now if you use your turn that you held... <laughs> And attack it, you'll get a flanking bonus because now we're flanking. Yeah. You're going to attack? Yeah. All right. So go ahead and roll your d20s. I forget what flanking give it a Give advantage. It's advantage. Okay. Uh, it's not an official yeah. D&D roll. So. I'm sorry. Roll twice and pick the higher number. That's <laughs> not <laughs> the higher number. Okay. The higher number is the it other one. Seven. Yeah, I saw that. All right. So you go to stab... And uh, despite the mass of this monster, like you just you're not really graceful with your fork, and you kind of miss it. So you do have a second attack, though. You could do it again. Yeah. So you still have advantage. So roll twice. Pick the higher number. Twelve. Ooh. Oh, these are much better rolls. Plus, I add one because I have one plus one strength. Mm-hmm. So Six, that's 16. 16. Roll for damage. Oh, yeah! <coughs> Very excited on that. Three. All right. So this time, you catch him square in the chest with your fork. Uh, he lets out a horrible screech. It really, like, it hurts your ears. It's a little too loud. Uh, but you do three points of damage to this giant hunger. She caught him slipping. Bay caught you slipping. All so right. is it a humanoid with giant wings? Is that what you said? It's like a horse. It's more like a it's horse. It's kind of like a dragon, Where really. did you get a human out of any of it? There were horns. Is that was like horns. the only H? It's, it's kind of like a dragon. And wings. That's all I heard. I, 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 I zoned out the rest of what Matt said. <laughs> That's my life. This is why I just have him get knocked out when you slap <laughs> his hand. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. Um, do I have my firepower yet? Yeah, you, you do have that. Last time you let me use that. When? Um, Last time we played. Yeah, you did. Order oh, of the you started using it late because we forgot about it. Yeah. Uh, so you're level one? one. Yeah. No, he's talking about her special fire breathing skill because she's I, a dragonborn. Like, oh, you mean the one that's under? No, her dragonborn ability. Oh, the order. Yeah. So uh, that's just a, a range of, I believe, 20 feet with uh, D4 of damage. Yeah. I think that's what I said. I'm going to let you remember what I said, Josh. Well, yeah. <laughs> The that's. one that zones out on the things that you say, that's who you're relying on to remember what you said. All right. So what's your AC, Steph? Uh, 12. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, he's very mad at you, and he was able to hone in your location with his uh, hunger echolocation. Isn't it Anne's turn? Or Anne just moved on her turn? She I just moved, moved on, on my turn. Okay. Uh, so the dragon out. is able... She held her turn, and then she, then she took it. Oh. And that. Oh! I thought you had a second action. I don't think you were that far away. No, yeah, I was, she was 45. Okay. But she used her turn. Yeah. It's a dragon's turn now. Oh, the dragon goes first? Not a dragon. Well, the hunger. Okay. The it's hunger. like a dragon. It's pictured like a dragon. He's pissed off at you because you stabbed him with your fork, and he l latches down on your shoulder. Uh, so pretty sizable bite out of you, uh, dealing seven damage. <gasps> She's Louise. Uh, all right, so now, Steph, it's your turn again. 
Again? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to attack him again. Yeah. Go for it. And you still have flanking, so you still have advantage. You also rolled your die way <laughs> over there. So that's an eight. And a five. So your highest is going to be a nine. You go to stab with your fork, and it careens off of his breastplate that he has. So he's got kind of like is a bony, armor? bony breastplate. It's like an almost like an exoskeleton. The hell is Does he have feathers? What is no, it? No, it's it's like a lizard. I imagine it is a giant chicken with horns. I don't know why. No, I th I think of it more like a an ice dragon. Okay. With the horns. All right. Uh, you have a second attack. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nine or six. So I'll take the ten. All right. So you go, and uh, again, your fork can't actually pierce through the bony breastplate that he has. Uh, so, Josh, it's your turn. Uh, how close am I to this dragon now? Uh, you're, I'd say, 25 feet away. Uh, I'm going to get just a little bit closer. Okay. I'm going to cast a little spoon. What's the rules on Little Spoon? Uh, this attack can be used once between meals. So I figured camping is a meal, isn't it? It is. Yeah. So. I wasn't sure if there was a size restriction. Uh, no, just within 20 feet of me. All right. Go ahead and. Uh, you, you make your check. Yeah. What? what arcane it, 12. It's an Arcane 12. All right. So uh, you are. What What are you doing to try and entice this dragon? This This hunger? Um, Role play it. I, I take my route like. Hey, calm down. I got some food here. Calm down. It's all good. It's all good. Come eat some food right in the barrel. So he stares at you with his sewn shut eyes, and he and he like he lean like he leans over to kind of just peer into the barrel and then lets out a. Does he make that terrible face? Yeah, he does. Do the face again? <laughs> that's that's the face he makes. That's what you're fighting, by the way, but with horns. Isn't <laughs> Uh, what are you doing with your? Oh, that was your full turn. And it's your turn. turn. Uh, I'm a, I'm attacking. I'm attacking that track with that face. What are you attacking with? Uh, my spatula. Um, does a twenty hit? Uh, a twenty does hit. Does a twenty? Hit? It's just wanted to Is ask. It, it's not. It's not a crit though, right? No. no. Going up to a twenty. Not no, a I wish it was. Roll for damage. How does one point of damage sound? <laughs> uh, so you go and you hit him with the spatula. You hear a resounding kabong as you hit him uh, kind of on the butt. Uh, he kind of gets startled. And it's like it welts up a little bit on his hiney. But uh, otherwise, he doesn't look too damaged by it. Hit him again. How was that one, Anne? Um, does a 22 hit? 22 hits. Imagine that. For Let's have it be one point of damage again so I can cry. Six. Six That's points more, of damage. It's more so this spiral. time you wind up, you get a, like a, not a running start, but like you, you step into it like a baseball slugger. I was testing it out first. And you slap that same cheek and uh, get <laughs> left him. Cheek left cheek, cheek, best cheek. Left cheek, best cheek. You get him right in the booty meat. Uh, and uh, you, he really like he yelps that time. He's like, <laughs> it was like, Rah! like that. You got to make the face uh, for six points of damage. All right. All right. So his tail picks up and swings. Did right, you need to know what my AC was? Right over your head. Oh. Uh, nothing happens. It's a nice breeze. So, Steph, it's your turn. All right. Um, I'm going to do my firepower on him. All right. So, uh, forget, that's just an auto hit, or I, that's no. a DC save for me? Um, uh, you had her do a, just a an arcane attack, attack with okay. arcane bonus. All right. So, use, uh, roll d20, add your arcane bonus. Does she get advantage on that with flanking or not because it's arcana? Uh, sure. Should... Why not? My arcane bonus is five. All right, roll again. Take the higher one. So okay, so seventeen. Uh, it is a hit. Roll for damage. One. Okay, so uh, you warm him up tremendously, 
Uh, you see a little bit of perspiration start to form, uh, and he looks mildly uncomfortable. Uh, Josh, that it's your turn. Oh, no, that's your first one turn. One attack. Yeah, go for your second one. So I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. Eight. Sixteen. Plus five. All right. So roll for damage. One. <laughs> He's perspiring more. I'm slowly getting at him, though. I mean. You're melting him from the inside. Yeah. That's what's important. She's looking for the sauce. Jack Monterey. All right. How close is the tree to me? Uh, the tree is roughly about uh, 15 feet away. What is going on through your head? I see the gears moving um, in your eyes. I want to start climbing up the tree. Yeah, of course you do. Are you going to try and, like, luchador him? <laughs> yeah. Roll, roll, the sure grace, is. roll the grace check. So is uh, it, he's climbing up, up the tree that's by us? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as you go to climb up the tree, you get about two feet off the ground, and you slide back down. But he looks really determined doing it. But I think if he gets up the tree, then we get triple, <laughs> like we're triple surrounding this thing. Not how that works. <laughs> by the way, I'm like by the tree, like so. I'm like on the other side of the tree where the. You know, if you is. get up on top of the tree and over him, then he's surrounded on all sides except for the bottom. Yeah. All sides, Matthew, except for the bottom. Except for the bottom. Uh, so, and it's your turn. I'm going to smack it with the spatula. Okay. I want to... Okay, so that's a four. So that's terrible. Um, 20, not... Uh, Tw crit. 20 hits. Yeah. Uh, five points of damage. Five points of damage. All right, so uh, you... Much better than one. Yeah, you... I this time you... Reach down and you manage to slap his tail against the ground uh, with your spatula. Uh, it kind of cuts off the tip of the tail, just the tip though. I hate you. Does the tip disappear or no? Tip does disappear. Okay. Uh, 21. 21, 21, 21, 21, 21 savage. <laughs> uh, three points of damage. All right. So uh, you. Go and uh, you, you kind of slap him on the the small of his back this time with the spatula, and he's he's looking like really red despite his like dark scaly skin. It's very surprising how much his like body's welting up right now. Red and sweaty. How yeah. is he not Mom's already spaghetti. dead? <laughs> this is this is the boss. So he's got yeah. bucket loads of health. <laughs> All right. So. But the flanking is uh, really working out for us. I'm liking this. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's do that. What? Uh, all right, so the yeah hunger uh, kind of crouches down and then jumps up with all of his might. As he leaves the ground, his wings start going. You hear a very deep, resounding... How did I did guess just, that? Did he just fart? <laughs> uh, the just... hunger, uh, you see a green gla gaseous cloud... Uh, come out and surround the a 20 foot uh, diameter circle from where he was uh, standing. He farted on me. Standing from before, he is now hovering about uh, 20 feet in the air. Get you know up else? the tree. Why aren't you up the tree? Giant. You know who else is noxious? Fart clouds. Matt. Matt. Hey, Matt is the boss. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> This is how you know the game is DM'd by Matt C. <laughs> it's actually one of his moves in the rules. What's the called? Gaseous cloud or poison cloud. Poison cloud. Fart cloud. Yeah. Uh, uh, does it say it comes out of his butt though? Uh, hunger releases a rumbling gaseous cloud from deep within its tainted innards. <laughs> yep, yep. Maybe it was a belch. Cloud. It could be, but not this one. <laughs> uh, so Steph, it is your turn. Does it? Does it, the gas do anything to us or? Try and check to find out. Like, like I'm assuming we we're covered in the gas. Effects. Like, yeah, do we have any immediate effects from it? Right now, you are in the gas. Uh, you don't feel great from it. Okay. Am I in the gas as well as being on the other side of the tree? Yes, all three of you are in the gas right okay. now. How did you think the tree was blocking you from the know. gas cloud? Who knows? It's not foam. Like I don't even Give me know. Give a big tree. Is it ignitable? Do we have anything that cause 
She <laughs> freaking shoots flames oh, out of her mouth. I'm sorry. I read this wrong. Uh, all three of you, please roll an arcana check. I know nothing. Five. Sixteen. Six. Six. Twelve plus five. Seventeen. That's a whole lot of rolling. Uh, Dipperella and Jack Ponteré, um are they, they don't feel as sickly as uh, they would think they would feel. They seem to have a little bit of a resistance to this. Uh, but the boss takes a, a deep breath, <laughs> inhales deeply, and uh, takes eight points of damage. Ouch. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm very sensitive to uh, disgusting. Um. How much health do you got? Seven. Oh, okay. Uh, Steph, it's your turn. I'm going to shoot a flame up right towards its oh. anus. Am I poisoned? No, she's not poisoned. Okay. You're going to shoot a flame up? Yeah. All right. It, yep, it's just in range of you. Can't see it. You only roll once this time. Don't roll twice. It's a 17. 17. That's actually a hit, so roll for damage. Four. You uh, your toast is undercarriage, <laughs> real bad. It's uh, it's kind of like the perineal sunning that it's they like do. A little bit of gas there that gives it a little bit extra boost. There, there you go. A little bit of boost up his touche. Uh, second action. Um, I say do it again. Yeah. What's that face on your face? I would like to, before you decide on your action, to note that the gas is still there. But she did it once, and nothing happened. Okay. So the you fire didn't get rid of the gas? No. I'm not going to metagame this. Go ahead. Is Steph? this like when I shot the fireball and killed Matt? No. So, 10? Uh, a 10 does not hit. So your fire... It, it seems like it's being held down a little bit by the gaseous cloud. It's not like the gas is actually igniting. It's, like, super dense and making, like, the fire not as strong. And Wait, do I add my strength or my arcana to arcana. it? Arcana. Oh, okay. So, actually, I got a 14. Sorry. Uh, again, uh, you try to inhale to uh, produce the fire. Uh, it doesn't do anything to you, but it uh, it doesn't produce as much fire as from the fresh breath of air that you had before. And uh, you kind of cough a little bit afterwards. <coughs> yeah. <it's laughs> Funny story. Uh, all right. So, Steph, uh, please roll an Arcana check. 14 plus 5, 19. All right, so uh, you still uh, are standing in the gas. Josh, it's your turn. I want to do an arcana check on the gas to figure out if I know what it is. I'm assuming that's an arcana check, right? Yeah. Uh, natural 20. Natural 20. Josh All knows right. everything. Uh, so you know that this is a, uh, a poisonous cloud. It doesn't actually inflict ongoing damage, but if you continue to breathe it, it could have very, very detrimental effects. Okay. Uh, and how... I know it's a twenty. How high does it go? Uh, it's it's basically all the way up to his bum. So okay. it's it's a twenty foot dome. Okay. Are you sharing this? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say, hey, get out of the gas, you idiots! Um, do I think I could climb the tree in one action and get out of the gas? Like a spider monkey? Your glass grace attempts. One, you squeezed the hunger pang and it bit you because you're super graceful. <laughs> then most recently, Asking you tried here. to climb up the tree and you fell on your butt. I don't know how you feel about this whole grace thing. You know it's going to take a very solid effort for you to scale the tree in one, to scale above the gas cloud in the tree in one go. Okay, so I'm going to run out of the gas mm -hmm. and I'm going to start running for the next tree, which I'm assuming is not in the gas cloud at all. Correct, more. it's not. Okay. Scooter Man. All right. Uh, Anna, it's your turn. Uh, I'm you got to run. I got to run. I got to get out of the, gla the gas cloud with a movement. should take me out of gas cloud. Mm 
I can't throw my spa- my spatula is heavy. It's not throwing anywhere. Um, there's nothing I can do that's helpful here. Uh, that that's it. I'm. I just got to move twenty five feet away. F- you can move t- twice. But why would I want to move further away from it? I want to like still be. Within. So are you going closer to where Jack Monterey is, or are you going? Uh, just outside of the cloud, kind of where Dipperella is, but outside of the cloud, or in a, in a completely different location. I think I'm running by Dipper. I want nothing to do with Spooderman's antics. I think so. I'm toward Dipperella, but outside the cloud. Okay, toward Dipperella, but outside the cloud. All right. So it is now Hunger's turn. Uh, so Hunger uh locks his vision at you, even though with his own eyes. With its own eyes, yeah. I didn't try to put the gas in the in my barrel and make it disappear. <laughs> Poor Timmy. <laughs> What's your AC? Fifteen. All right. Ooh. Oh, I don't want you rolling anything. You could stop now. How much health did you say you had left? Seven. All right. Uh, so he. Uh, locks eyes with you, folds his wings in, and dive, dive bombs, bombs directly into you. Great. Uh, causing... Can I Can I dodge? Causing seven damage. For real? Yeah. Matthew? Yeah. Uh, however, in the process, he crashes pretty heartily into the ground himself. Uh, and you see, with your last conscious point of vision, uh, that he has some stars in his eyes right now. Did he try and attack me twice and crit fail one? No. Is his head stuck in the ground right now? Kind his of. His head's not stuck in the ground. He's not an ostrich. ostrich. <laughs> uh, Steph, it's your turn. All right. So I'm going to run over to the boss mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, shield her with my foil robe. And do I want to heal her or attack? I think you should take advantage of the situation and attack the thing that's down on the ground. The you don't know that. That's metagaming. Sorry. I'm unconscious. The I could get is four damage on it at most. If I were metagaming. Would your character rather save the boss or attack the, the monster? Are you still, you're not, you're too far away to attack, right? Uh, I'm not sure exactly where I'm position wise. Uh, right now, you are about uh, 30 feet away from the dragon because you ran in the opposite direction. Okay. I just don't know if I want to attack by myself. I, I'll attack. All right. 15. Do I add strength? Your yeah. arcana. Uh, you're doing what, your fire what, attack. Are you doing your fire attack or are you hitting with the fork? I'll do my fire attack. All right. So 20. All right. Uh, we'll roll for damage. Two. All right, so uh, as you hit him with the fire blast, uh, you can see uh, some of his skin start to bubble a little bit. Uh, so, Josh, it's your turn. All right, so I'm about like 30 feet away from the sc- dragon. That's correct. The dragon completely engrossed in these two? Uh, yeah, he's not paying any attention to you. Do I think I could run and dash and run and jump onto the dragon's back? <laughs> do you think you could do it? What what would determine whether you felt like it was a possibility for you? Is is it within range? Is is this is like his it is, position? It's within range. You'd have to run through the glass, the gra- gas cloud. You have pretty good confidence that you, yeah. this is something you can do. Now okay. you are overconfident in your own abilities. No, I, so fine. whether whether I'll go for it, you're running through the gas cloud. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I know I can cover my mouth. I don't know if it's going to help at all, but I'm going to try to run through. All right. He can barely ride a barrel, <laughs> and now he wants to ride the Hunger Dragon. That is exactly correct. Roll an arcane check. Uh, ten. Uh, as you run through the gas, it, it looks like you putting up your sleeve over your face helped a little bit. You still take five points of damage. Ooh. Okay. That's nasty. Yeah, it's really mean. Uh, as you run up to the dragon, uh, he has no idea that you're there. Okay. Uh, roll the grace check. You do real well with uh, this. Six. 
<laughs> you you go to jump onto the dragon's back. You have nowhere near enough height. It's like a middle schooler trying to dunk, and you <laughs> land right in front of Dipperella, in between her and the dragon. What's up, boys? <laughs> I, I, I fake my girl? land in so it looks like it's good. It's Dragon a girl. I want him to yell up, what's up, boys? And I want there to be only him is the only boy. <laughs> and I just like his entire, I want him to be as impo- as possibly offensive as he can be. Uh, the dragon's gender neutral. Uh, <laughs> what's everyone's AC? 15. Oh, 11. 12. 12. All right. Uh, so he lifts his tail up and he swats it down at all of you because he hates you and you smell funny. Um, oh, I'm sorry, not his tail, his wing. He's lifting up his wing and attacking you with that. I mean, it was it was like a five and not a one, but that would have been incredibly amazing if he ran into the dragon and the dragon had his mouth open and he got swallowed whole, but sticked his landing like inside the dragon's throat. Did you just crit? Uh, so the dragon... <laughs> Swings his wing into you, and with one of the sharp spikes at the top, impales Jack Monterey, dealing 11 points of damage. <laughs> what are you at? <laughs> Damn it. I had six health. I have 11 total health. <laughs> it was a one-hit oh, kill either way. Oh, I know you were 11 total health. So that's all I have is 11. This guy's nasty. Okay, so... Uh, Dipperella, it's your... Oh, I'm sorry, Anne. Um, I had, you I have to roll a uh, stable. Did, did I bring my uh, barrel with me when I did yeah, this whole run? Yeah, you had your barrel with you. It's now lying on the ground next okay. to you. 16. All right, so checkbox <laughs> for the good. Jack kebabs. All right, so... Uh, Am I stuck on his wing? No. Okay. Yes, please. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't crit Every him. Time. That wasn't. That wasn't a crit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Steph, it's your turn. <laughs> like a rag doll. <laughs> um, I just, I don't want to be in this by myself, so no, I'm going to take sense. my sausage sauce and a gold nuggy and make some magic happen. So you're dipping the nuggy in the sausage sauce? Yeah. All right, as you do, you kind of hear a... Music and uh, as you pull the golden nuggy from the sauce, it's longer than you remember. And out from the nuggy is, is a key. The Ooh. nuggy has become a key. Ooh. I mean, that's is, helpful. <laughs> this really isn't helping. Use the key on the dragon's bum, baby. <laughs> You're knocked out. Be quiet. All right. So I got a key and no healing. Uh, you did not get any healing. You still have some That's sauce and great. sauce in your packet, though. I still okay. So I'm gonna disperse the sauce and sauce on my people. You have to choose one. Not much sauce left. Mm-hmm. Definitely the boss. All right. So uh, roll a d4 and minus one. Me? Who's rolling? D4? Uh, you, Steph. Ooh. Oh. Okay. So uh, the boss is revived with three health. Awesome. Let's not die. You mean awesome. Oh, God. Uh, in the meantime, Josh, I need you to roll to stabilize. Uh, 13. And you're good. All right. Uh, boss, it's your turn. Okay. Where's everybody currently positioned? So right now, basically, all three of you are right in front of this dragon. Uh, the Mon- Jack Monterey uh, jumped in between Dipperella and the dragon, so he's lying on the floor in between them, kind of right underneath. If but you're I still adjacent. move, will I get an attack of opportunity? Yes. I really, 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 really want to be flanking. But if I get hit, I'm going to die. But if I get flanking, I might end it. Don't flank. Don't flank? No. Two hits instead Don't of flanking? Flank. He is already, like, bubbling up and shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does a ten hit? Uh, you take your spatula, and uh, it, it deflects off of his bony hide. <sighs> okay, how about a twenty-three? That hits. Roll for damage. Six, 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 six. Ten! Wow. (laughs) How do you want to do this? Oh, yeah! (laughs) 
So. You gonna avenge my death? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I want to leap at it. Double hand. Spatula flatten it down. In the head? But I want it. Like a bug. I want it to be like when Dipperella revived me. I want to pretend like that first attack didn't happen. We're all going to play that off. And I'm going to come up from the ground, leaping to crush it. So here, I got this for you right here. So uh, as Dipperella puts the sauce onto the boss, her eyes dart open. <laughs> With a flourish, her <laughs> spatula spins around, and she jumps up, <laughs> doing a twirl midair, uh, and swinging the spatula around and down onto the hunger's head. Uh, with a resounding thong on the top of it, the reverberation shakes up her arms, uh, loosening some of her armor plates that she has, <laughs> jiggling the Nona arms, uh, and uh, with a resounding crack, uh, her spatula forms a slight split down the middle of it. Uh, nothing that's going to damage the structural integrity of it, obviously. But uh, that's character now. Yeah, it gives a character. It gives it a war story. Uh, but it, and then underneath the pang, you see his feet physically sink into the ground from the immense force of the blow, and then he uh, turns into like particles of dust and fades away. Congratulations, you killed your hunger. Thank pain. you. Bam. Is Josh still passed out? Uh, he he is mildly awake now just because it was like the loudest alarm bell you've ever heard. So this is the second battle where you've helped by doing nothing. I took that last blow for you guys. Upon defeating hunger, <laughs> a strong wind blows from every direction, making the forest swirl Look, of leaves and wait, branches. The last strong wind that blew out of a certain <laughs> direction was not great. All sensations become overwhelming and confusing for just a moment, and then you find yourself back at the entrance of the French Fry Forest. Ooh, Only great. now, it's as it's always been. A forest full of trees and potato plants. You all have a strange feeling that little time has actually passed since you entered the forest. Congratulations, adventurers. You are now level two. All right, so you can go ahead and add your new skills to your character sheets at the end of the session. Um, do you all want to go back into town? Or do you want to call the time? Um, I'd like to call the time because I think that we should look at the level two stats. They don't matter for town yet. Just, you know, throwing that out there. Okay, we can go back into... We don't... Okay, are you going to give up a meta? Give up what? I'm trying very... I'm, don't look at me because I want to say something, but I don't want to metagame it. What? I just... I don't know. He's got something in his pocket. Like, if we're going back to town, we should be going back to town with, with a purpose. Mm. But I don't know that he's got anything in his pocket. Yeah, you don't, so. Mm. I mean, but we're done here. Where else are we going to go? Go back to town. You have to go back to town. We're going now. back to town. Yeah. We should go back to town so and get go more sauce and sauce. That was great. Go back to town. Uh, go back to the, uh, the main overall town. Can we, like, town go now. camping first so I can build my strength back up? Uh, you actually, you feel rejuvenated from reappearing at the front of the forest. All of you now have full health. Oh, so good. All right, so as you return to Fresh Tovia, when you return to town, the uneasy feeling uh, that lingered in the air before from the mysterious character is no longer there. People are excessively happy, and they're singing. It's a definitely a festival that's going on. And uh, as you pass through into the town entrance, you hear uh, the famous town bard singing. Uh, at the city center, and he's playing his favorite song, Hot Drinks. He's not How playing does a, it go? a coin for your witcher? No, he's playing Hot Drinks. Is this the video? Should I should I play the... Oh, the play video is going to play. Steady upon the counter, let it set. Pour it in until the coffee.
Buffy reaches the line. Pop on top on a gangsaline. Every time Wendy's coffee tastes so fine. Hot drinks really get you going. Warms you up when you feel your slow. That face makes me uncomfortable. We always serve it right away. Have a smile and have a nice day. Next is the Captain Brew. You could leave the bar whenever you want. Oh, no, this is the best thing ever. I'm taking notes. There are way too many syllables in the word B. Oh my god. But how much do you put in? Is it to the line? I don't know. How much do you think he was paid to do this video? 50 bucks. You think he's an actual Wendy's employee? No. How much do you think it costs to produce that video? Uh, our yearly budget. <laughs> so that's an actual training video for Wendy's. <laughs> that's beautiful. <clears throat> All right. So as you uh, walk past the bard, uh, you see people throwing coins to him. Uh, he's doing very well for himself with his obviously wonderful me musical abilities. Oh, yeah. Uh, as you make your way towards the center of the city, the shrouded man from before finds you, and he crinkles. He pulls you off to the side, and he appears, explaining that he was working directly for Queen Wendy for many years, but as he's aged, he can no longer protect the kingdom like he once did. With the current seclusion of the creepy king of Creeping Vale and the colonel of the Grease Bucket armies amassing their numbers, Queen Wendy will need a new group of protectors. After her speech... She will want to speak to you if you let her. How do you know who I am? I'm still back to you being a creepo from before, knowing, like, what my name is. Nobody knows my name. You know my name. Who are you? I know a good many things. I've spent many years in service of Queen Wendy. This is not the question that I asked you. Where's my reward? We just did a, we just did his job for can I Can I do this to him? Because I, I just, I want to end it. Good sir. Queen Wendy will take care of all of your futures. I guess I could take I must be job. back to the castle. Where are you going? And he scurries off into the distance towards the castle. Does he scurry? I want him to scurry like a hunchback. Yeah, he, well, he's like hunched over. He's got the, the hood over does, his face. Does he have a hump? He doesn't have a hump, though. And Does he, he have a hump? He should have a hump. But like no, from Young Frankenstein? No. Where Matt never see that movie. Either way, he scurries back into the castle, moves his way past the castle That's guards. That's a face, right? And uh, goes back in. You've never seen the moving hump? He's never seen the moving hump. There's no Abby Normal. He doesn't know, oh, what nice big knockers you have. Do <laughs> you want to get back into the game? No, no. no. <laughs> We're just shaming you right now. Um... So where are we? Like by the fountain? Uh, you're by the city center right now. Yeah, which is the fountain. Okay, so Dinkarella, I think that we uh, need to Dinkarella. I think we need to make a pit stop over at that fountain. I mean, yeah, that I sauce is a sauce. lot. Yeah, it's a lot more powerful than we initially thought it was. Yeah, we want to get a lot of sauce. How much do you think we can carry? Dinkarella's maximum holding limit is three sauces. I think we all three of us should go get some sauce. You know what? Four sauces now that she's level two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like it. I want to get some jars to put sauce in. Yeah, where do we get jars? 
Uh, there is a celebration going around town. Uh, the two uh, main areas uh, where you can sell... There actually is a bunch of stalls selling uh, wares around the castle that you can explore. Okay. I want to go haggle with them. All right. So there are four stalls. The north stall, east stall, west stall, and south stall. You don't know what they sell. Uh, let's go to the south one first. All right. So as you approach the south stall, uh, oh, wow. you uh, see a, a very like slight woman who's kind of like very bubbly. She's going around to everyone, uh, and uh, she. Mm, sorry, I'm just I'm reading up on this really quickly. So you know, uh, what what are you two doing in the meantime? So we're going to. I wanna. I have ten gold that I can use for purchases. Do um do you share with us about the key? Because Josh and I were knocked out when you did that. Oh yeah, and you guess what, guys? I have a key. Where did you get the key from? <laughs> um, I to heal you, I used some of my awesome sauce and one of those golden nuggies. Turned into it a turned key. Turned into a key. I wonder where the key goes. I also have another golden nugget. I got two got. also. Does he have any golden nuggies? No, we didn't no. tell him about them because he's a jerk. Oh. It's the keys to the kingdom. So, so what, what's, we have what's possibly four keys. You approach. Yeah. The, oh. Hello, good sir. My name's Olivia. Oh, God. Well, what do you got here? I'm actually looking to buy things. I want to restock my coifers with all of the fine wares that all of the villagers have brought in for this fine festival. I actually have a wood cup with a crack in it if you'd like to purchase that. Sure. Okay, what? how much? I will give you half a gold. Uh, uh, no, I'm, no, no. I'm you can do better than half a gold here. Oh, God. Yeah. This, this is an antique cup here. Yeah, here we this go. this is an, hundreds of years old. It's Th an enchanted cup. What does it do? <laughs> we can't tell you. You have to. This cup holds water, even though it has a crack. Yourself. Can you demonstrate? I I take the cup. Do you have something to? Uh, do you have some water here? Let me look around really quick. Shuffles around. Does the she backside. have anything laying out that she's bought already? Uh, she has a couple of like uh, clothing items on the, the front of her booth. Okay. Uh, and then as she peeps her head back out from the bottom of the booth, I have some strawberry lemonade. Ooh, All I right. like that. Oh, let's let's see this. I take it. Uh, I'm gonna do a sleight of hand, and I'm gonna basically put my hand over the crack, so the water will stay in the the, the strawberry lemonade will stay in the cup. And I, I start pouring it in, mm -hmm. and I say, "See," and then I, I'm gonna drink it. All right. Uh, so. She is very impressed. Uh, roll a, a, a slight uh, uh, grace check. God, please roll well this oh, time. Oh, freaking 19. Oh, she's... That's thoroughly amazing, <laughs> sir. With the townspeople, you do fantastic. We are willing to sell you this cup for 10 gold. I can do three gold. I'm, I'm eight. What say you, good sir? He's selling it for nine. Uh, let's see. Uh, do you have any uh, jars back there? Look around the back. I've got I've got two jars, sir. We'll, we'll take the two jars and the three gold. All right, let's shake on it. <laughs> she notices your hand is sticky. Wait a minute. <laughs> Did you use your hand to cover the crack? Oh, of that's course not. from something else, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> I don't know if I believe you. Like it. <laughs> um, I go, it's it's just I got sweaty paws, man. Yeah, you what did. Sweaty you paws. <laughs> I rolled a uh, six. <laughs> I don't check. think you've got <laughs> strawberry sweat. Get out of my booth. <laughs> what, do you just stare at her? I, I, I just take a quick handful of some clothing off of her booth, and I toss it in my barrel. Stop! Guards! The guards are like 30 feet away, and they start running in your I direction. I kick the booth, I go, where's the beef? Uh, all right, you 
feel something happen to the barrel. Okay. Uh, the guards run over and they start to uh, question, like, what, what's going on here? This woman's claiming I stole her clothing. I tried to make her a perfectly fine sale. Then she says I'm a liar. And then she says I stole something. And she said I put it in this barrel. If you look, this barrel is completely empty, sir. She's a senile lady. I would just like my two jars and my three gold, and I could be out of my way. They look into the barrel. They don't see anything. She's like, this oh, is you're not gonna, You're not going to have him roll a persuasion <laughs> check? This is, this is absolutely ridiculous. I saw him do it. He must be hiding it on his person somewhere. Uh, roll a... Officers, you're glad to check me. I will strip naked in the street for you. Oh, my God. Uh, roll? I rolled a six again. <laughs> okay. Uh, so she compels very well the guards, <laughs> and they say, all right. <laughs> Just start taking off my clothes in the middle, standing butt naked in the hall. I'm like... So it's good enough for you, sir. It's a bit nippy out. <laughs> uh, she she comments to the to the guard. She's like, he stole a pair of pants and a shirt from me. I expect my due. Uh, and they thoroughly agree with her. So uh, she is going to keep your pants and shirt that you were wearing and allows you to keep your breeches. Thank God. <laughs> She rolled a nat 20 on her check. Yeah. Just letting you know. <laughs> Do I still get the gold for my wedding The cup? magnifying glass booth must be <laughs> making break. Uh, she does not want to do the deal anymore unless you want to sell her the cup for half gold. No. <laughs> I want to go to another booth. All right. So that was the south booth. Uh, there's also the west booth, north booth, and east booth. So the booth she's in, is there anything behind her? She's butted up to a wall. She's butted up against the wall? Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't know what you want to do. But uh, I'll, I'll, I'll stroll to the next booth with everyone else. Which, Am I? which booth? Oh, no, I'm not walking with you. Uh, let's just make this explicitly <laughs> clear. I am not casually strolling the market <laughs> with the naked man in his barrel. He's in his breeches. Yeah, you know, you could put, like, pop open the lid and just, like, carry the, like, in a cartoon, the barrel <laughs> around your body and I think that I might walk within ten feet of you then. I will go to the West Booth. I'm going with Dipperella. <laughs> Sorry. Right, I'm actually, I'm, I'm gonna kind of walk out of range of the South Booth. You said the West <laughs> Booth? <laughs> yeah. I am staying out of, Yes. All right. So as you approach the West Booth, you see that the while pers- we're fully clothed, the person you see that the the vendor kind of weird looking. He looks like he would wear an excessive amount of makeup. Uh, as you approach, you see that he's in full clown makeup, but he looks like really sad. He looks very very upset. I'm sorry, Matt. Uh, sad clown. So and he's like, "Hello, my name's Flops." How are you? Aww. Hi, Flops. I'm Dipperella. You can call me the boss. Pleased to meet you. Flops, I have this magical wooden cup. There is a crack in it, but this is a special cup. This cup holds all the joy in the world. <gasps> don't you want to have all the joy in the world? Dipperella, I'd love to, but I don't have any coin. You see, sales have been rough. Me ice cream machine's broken. Oh, no! Do you have any containers? Extra containers from the old ice cream machine? I knew I forgot something at home down south. You're from down south? Oi. So, do you know anything about a certain signage with a corner missing? I don't know what you're talking about. A placard. You're from the kingdom with the jester clown duty. I just like the weather down there. Do you need some help with uh, that ice cream machine? I could take a look. I, uh, I, have, a, I have extensive knowledge of mechanical engineering, surprisingly. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Roll a uh, whatever that check is. What is the, the stat? I don't know. Uh, charm. Ooh, I might do this. Uh, 14? I guess I could trust you. Can't trust anyone else around here. Oh, you're a sad puppy. <laughs> okay. Especially that Don Queen up there talking all day. It's all just 
propaganda. Why? What has she been saying? Everyone knows sauce and sauce can't melt steel beams. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust one bit of her. I hate you. <laughs> but go ahead, take a look at me, machine. It hasn't worked since I got here. I hate you so much. Uh, what am I rolling the check for? What are you actually doing? I want to look at the machine and see if I can figure it out. Oh, you're actually perception check. Uh, sure, perception check. Uh, which is intelligence. Yeah. Eighteen. <laughs> I told you I'm an extensive check. I'm role playing. <laughs> this is not life. All right, so you uh, you roll up your sleeves and you get what's in there. What's wrong with it? Go ahead. The, I'm telling you what's wrong with it. What am I saying? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so you've noticed that the uh, the condenser for the cooling has become unplugged, So, which is why it's just dispensing liquid and not actually ice cream. So it's not cooling it at because all. Because the condenser does... It cools the ice cream. What does it look like? I don't know. <laughs> you just know it's not plugged in right. Cool. Great. Um, here's your problem right here. What? The, what you just said. The condenser isn't plugged in. Must have got jostled around from the journey down south. But we could fix it, right? I don't know. Can you? Can I? I rolled an 18. Do I know how to fix it? Okay. Yeah. I just got to plug it back in. Plug it back in. <laughs> I tried to make it easy for you. Right? <laughs> Here, let me plug it back in. As you plug it back in, it like kind of, and uh, you could tell it kicked into into gear. Oh yeah! And he's like, "Oh, thank you." You're so welcome. Guess I can start selling ice cream to these ungrateful heathens now. Well, you are just a ray of sunshine over there. For what me, are I you? I didn't forget my cups. Yeah, what are you putting that ice cream in? You know what sounds like a real fun challenge? Body shots. <laughs> ice cream. He starts ringing a bell. <laughs> ice cream for sale. <laughs> ding, ding. So uh, tell me a little bit about your kingdom. Well, I live in Fresh Tovia. Why don't you tell me about down south? How are things down south? It's a bit nippy. That's why I left. Because, it, but I thought you said you liked the weather in the south. It's too cold recently. You it know, it was nice before. Before what? It got cold. How did it get cold? Well, you see, the planet is in an <laughs> elliptical orbit Are you talking to me, around yeah? the sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> if it's got no tilt on its axis, then it's got no seasons, and the planet looks like a hamburger. So I'm just trying What's to the island down. I'm just trying to make enough money to find somewhere else to go. I don't like it here. Because you don't like the queen and her propaganda. What do you think about what the queen's been spitting out? I think it's all nonsense. What do you believe? Why can't you freeze a burger? <gasps> That's what I'm talking about. You've been brainwashed. I don't know if I could trust you now either. What do you think is good about freezing burgers? It's easier to transport them. I could bring burgers from my ice kingdom down south all the way to the colonel's greasy bucket army, and everyone will be able to eat them just fine. But haven't you noticed the difference in the taste? Let me tell you something. Oh, who cares about I bloody taste? Well, I could tell you in my, in my uh, consumer base, as a fellow entrepreneur, I can tell you that my consumer base definitely appreciates a higher quality taste and higher quality ingredients. How about your ice cream? What kind of ingredients do you use in your ice cream? It's a proprietary blend. You know, Dipperella, you're so good with the sauces and the ice cream. Maybe uh, if Flops here lets you sample some of the ice cream, you can do some uh, analysis of the ingredients. It's a good idea. I don't want you stealing my recipe. No, 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 no. It's meant to keep in the warmest of weathers when my machine's not working. D so this is a perfect time to test that, right? I know. I mean, works. I helped you. I'll serve I it either way. That's disgusting. I helped you fix your condenser. The least you can do for me, you know, is uh, let me have some of that ice cream. I'm mm. not asking. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Give me a hand. 
Don't touch me. Why do you want me to put the ice cream Just in? put it right in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boss. If you want to just stick your head under the nozzle. Nope. <laughs> you can put Dipperella's head under there. You can put Dipperella's head real low under that nozzle and just shoot it right in her mouth. Uh, I'm just going to turn <laughs> this way. Oh, I am going to mess with no, the No, you better not. At the south stall? Okay, nobody's ready for your antics. We're trying to do ice cream body shots. I could have gotten three coin... For that cup, and you ruined it for me. All right, Dipperella. I'm not over there by you guys. Ice cream. Ice cream, Dipperella. I don't want this tainted ice cream. Just put it in your mouth. <laughs> it's tainted. Yeah. It's from his taint? <laughs> you know. Is it brown? You all are very negative It's attitudes. taint cream. Well, you, my friend, are just a uh, ray of sunshine. You got That's no cups. What? It's because I'm not home. Back there. I'm you got a spoon? With this. Every meal was I'm happy. done with this. I'm going to another place. Okay. Do you got a spoon? I have my ice cream machine and my shoes. I'm going north. <laughs> Wait, where's your clothes? Why, <laughs> Why do you just have shoes? <laughs> I mean, I'm What did you do to your shoes? Got clothes also. Do they look like <laughs> those shoes? No, they're clown shoes. Okay, so I don't really have... Oh! I want to take my gold nuggy out, and I'm going to use my gold nuggy as a spoon with the ice cream. Okay, as you dip your gold nuggy into the ice cream, uh, roll a d20. I wonder what's going to happen to my gold nuggy. I just want to it's going to explode. Spoon. Can Arcana I not check. tell you what my roll is? Four. Uh, as you dip your gold nuggy into the ice cream, uh, it starts to slowly transform into a normal nuggy. You now have... A standard nugget. That's weird. What can she do with a standard nugget? She can eat it. The heel. Yeah, 1d4. Okay, I want to just, I don't want to eat the standard nugget. I just want to lick the ice cream off of it like a spoon. All right, so you eat the ice cream off of it. You have a soggy nugget. It, it tastes like milk byproduct, slight vanilla flavor, and it has not had time to set yet because you just plugged the machine back in, so it's still runny. Does it taste like a Frosty, or does it taste like a... Uh, McFlurry? <laughs> McFlurry. Uh, it, it tastes like ice cream from the Clown Kingdom. Are there mini M&Ms in it? It's just the ice cream. Is it green it's and only bunch. released at a, for a limited time around a holiday notorious for a, an Irish Catholic priest? And mint-flavored? Yes. No, it's vanilla. Uh, Christmas? <laughs> Are there nuts on You're it? You're an idiot. It's just vanilla ice cream. It's floppy. <laughs> What's his name? Flops. Flops nuts on it. <laughs> <laughs> I can put them there for you if you want. No. <laughs> nope. All right. Well, Flops. How do I get in contact with you later? You know. <laughs> What's your phone number? I'll get to contact with maybe you. Maybe we could have some ice cream when it sets. Yeah, maybe. You let me know how your sales go. I am running away <laughs> toward that north stall. <laughs> maybe I should have negotiated a cut in the sales since I fixed the machine. I wasn't there to help you out, so. Damn. That's because you're running around naked in a market. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to fix that. <laughs> Going to the north stall? Mm -hmm. As you approach, a uh, rather portly gentleman in suspended goes, Hello! My name is Biggie. Biggie Bagsley. Pleasure to meet you. Welcome to me Frosty Stand. Why is everybody British? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. I love a Frosty. Find them cups, Anne. Oh, I well, have to find cups. Well, for you, ma'am, the low, low price of one gold will get you the grandest Frosty in the land in either flavor of vanilla or chocolate. Um, may I have a oh, chocolate? And may I have an additional cup, please? One gold, please. All right, subtract one gold from your inventory. Uh, he pours a rather generous serving of chocolate frosty for you, and he kind of flourishes it like a, a real street mm. food vendor, and he's like kind of going crazy with it. And then he kind of he goes to hand it to you with the cup underneath it, and as you go to take it, he does that street vendor ice cream thing where he plays with the cups and he doesn't let you have it. I don't know if you've seen the YouTube videos. It's a <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> so silly. Can I have extra cups so I can try to do that? You sure can, ma'am. You know, I am quite happy to be selling these here, and he hands you the extra cups. 
And he's just like, How you many know, cups does he give me? Four. Okay. Uh, he's just like, I can't afford to give you more than that. I do have a ton of customers here, but you know what? I am quite proud of this day. I've been selling Frosties like crazy, especially because that poor sort of a clown over there has a broken machine. My machine's never broken. Must have Ooh. a really great condenser. Dip you know about machinery! Dipperella, I think we need to leave now. <laughs> you don't want a Frosty, ma'am? I ain't got no For the low, low price of one gold, you could have one uh, chocolate oh, or vanilla. Oh, good sir, I'm but I have no coin. I'm Maybe your good friend will share with you. Have a nice day, then. Can I check out your machine, sir? I'm so curious about it. I'm sorry. There's a lot of other customers around here that I need to service, but you have a good day. Can I sneak Do you have anything else for sale besides Frosties? Uh, just the grandest Frosties in the land. Do you have any... Sprinkles? How graceful am sprinkles? I? Sprinkles? My Frosties are so delicious. <laughs> they don't need sprinkles. Two. Um, can I dip my other golden nuggy in my Frosty? That's a smart idea. You can certainly try. Okay. And roll d d20? Uh, yeah, roll d d20 for your Arcana check. Oh. That was plus five, nine. I mean, the plus five's not too bad. Sorry, give me a second here. This is like later. Hmm. No, you know what, it's fine. Uh, you dunk the nuggy into the Frosty, and uh, you don't really notice anything happening, but when you go to pull it out, it's longer than you expected. However, this key, the last key, was an orangish-goldish color that mirrored the Sawsome Sauce. This key is pure white, snowy white. Out of a chocolate Frosty? Mm-hmm. Is it made of bone? No, it's not made of bone. Lick it and see if it's made of bone. Maybe it's like those candy straws in the in the dipsticks. Maybe it's candy. What are you doing, Josh? I'm yelling I the soft over. Stall. I'm waiting for them to. I'm give yelling a chance over to, to him to come over so he can buy some frosty oh. too and get some four cups. She's He's waving at you. Okay. Naked. I'm, I'm ignoring. Okay. Uh, I want to I want to cast two spoons, which is a level two spell that makes a mirage of me. Okay, what is it? Just does it? Um, I have to do an arcane fourteen check. Is that a one? <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> you are the worst. He loses his briefs. <laughs> and there's two of them, and they're both butt naked. And he finds himself with a magnifying glass, but it's backwards, so it makes everything look smaller instead of bigger. You you go to cast the uh, mirage of yourself, uh, and it doesn't do anything, but you think it does. You th you're convinced that it works. Okay. So I walk around the other side of the the south booth. What do you want your Mirage to be doing? I just want it to, like, it can't talk. It can't physically interact with anything. I just want to make it, like, like dance, get naked, just kind of, like, make a scene so everyone just stares at it. You're convinced that you're controlling this non-existent Mirage to do that. Okay. Uh, I go to the other side. I, I want to look at the old woman and see what she's doing. All right. I the, want... What makes you think she was old? I don't know. <laughs> Roll a stealth check. Uh, 19. To have been kicked in the head. He wants this mirage to be dancing around naked. I want him to find she out. You. Do I see my clothing? Do you see your clothing? Yeah, you see it's like stashed on the back, on like kind of where her personal belongings are. Right, I, I just want to grab my clothing and get the fuck out. You successfully grab your clothing <laughs> and dart away. Okay, cool. I, I'm gonna get. <laughs> get back in my clothing and I'll go meet up with these two idiots. <laughs> I am going back to that lady at the south booth and I'm trying to sell her my frosty. <laughs> I don't want you anymore. Get out of here. You were with that ruffian that got naked. Oh, I don't know him. You did know him. You tried oh, to sell no. the cup with him. No, I shoo don't shoo. know him. I want to go to the east. Shoo, shoo, shoo. <laughs> no, I wasn't with him. <laughs> I tell her I wasn't with him. And you should sell your cup. <laughs> uh, I, that's metagaming. I'll go over the east. Uh, the east stall. 
All right, hold on. <laughs> Hi, my name's Regina. Regina Bynes. Hi, Regina Bynes. I make clothes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Out of paper. Out of paper. I do. Oh, that's that's uh, so so it's a uh, origami. Kind of. Her major demographic is the medical industry. She makes those paper at gowns. It, gowns that you wear before surgery. These are actually all the fashion in my town. That's what so town are you great. from? Roast Beach. <laughs> Roast Beach? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds lovely. It's about an hour north of Fort Baconator. Okay. Um, uh, what kind of outfits you got here? Well, you see what I'm wearing? This yeah. is paper. Uh huh. Do you like it? I mean, it's not bad for paper. Well, you, you can know use it as a napkin. Too. I can make any kind of outfit you want. How to make out it? of paper. How, how much would one of these outfits cost? Do you want the pants? <laughs> that it? That's the end of the question. <laughs> <laughs> I want the whole outfit, lady. Do you want a shirt? All of it. A jacket? All of it. What about a hat? Sure. Put Jewel that in there as well. Jewelry? Uh, I'm okay with jewelry. How do you make paper jewelry? Is this like paper mache? No. Is it hard? It's not hard. I think it's pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> does, it, does the clothing rip easily? No. <laughs> can, I, can I try it out? Sure. <laughs> I just take your shirt and I go. Roll a strength check. Roll a one. Uh, roll six. A one. It's pretty damn strong paper. <laughs> See? Is this like Teflon shit? <laughs> no. It's paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got that lady. <laughs> How much will an outfit go for? <coughs> Do you want jewelry? No. <laughs> 35 gold. 35 gold. I don't have that kind of money, lady. Bye. <laughs> I <laughs> run up to her, and I'm like, "Hi, hi, my name's Regina. I'm Diparella. Regina Bynes. So, Regina, I heard you sell paper clothing. Out of paper. That's <laughs> great. I have something just for you. It's a it's a wooden cup, and you can use it to make more paper clothing. How? <laughs> You can take the wood and shave it, and it makes paper. You could probably make 100 outfits out of this. It's I worth, have paper. It's worth a lot. I have a lot of paper. <coughs> this would be really helpful for you if you want to buy it. Roll a charm check. Uh, you get plus one to your charm by being near me. <laughs> That's how charming I am. <laughs> 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 That's how charming I am. Pong. <laughs> I rolled a two. You're so stupid. I've got paper. Do you want to buy some wait, clothes? Wait, wait, She got a plus one because it, it's a three. So that obviously changes the outcome. Plus right? I have a one, so that's a four. <gasps> Do you want to buy some clothes? No, 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 I'm trying to sell my, my wooden cup. It's the best cup you could ever find. You could make so much clothing out of this. And Do you want to buy the, pants? This would be the most stylish, stylish clothing you've ever seen. Do you want to buy a shirt? I run away. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> How about hey, you? Hey, Regina, can you make me an ascot? Yes. How much would that be? Five gold. Tell her you only want it what, if what, it's what kind of benefits would I get from this ascot? Wooden cup. Huh? What kind of benefits would I get from this ascot? It looks damn good. <laughs> uh-huh. <sighs> Were you dropped out of head as a child? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Take that as a yes. What color ascot? Uh, what colors do you got? Red. <laughs> Green. Blue. He can't tell the difference. It doesn't Yellow. matter. Yellow. <laughs> polka dot. <laughs> what color? Polka dot. Polka dot's not a color. <laughs> Purple <gasps> and yellow. Just asking. Orange plaid. 
You don't have glitter? <laughs> choco choco chip. <laughs> Ooh, choco choco chip. Chicken nuggy. <laughs> <laughs> French fry. <laughs> wrapping. What? What kind of wrapping? It's not, again, Do you sell any color. beef wrapping? I think I think you should you should let me uh, try one of these out and uh, you know load it. I make them fresh to order. You should make me one fresh for order. You know, you, I think you like me. You know, little. This is not. You really don't know how gold, people. Gold, please. Are. What? Gold, please. You like me. It's not. You don't say things, and that's how it happens. Roll I'm gonna, a, I'm gonna shake her hand, and I, I'm gonna kiss her hand and be like, "Do you really need gold from me?" Roll a charm check. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. Uh. Thirteen. And sexual harassment. <laughs> so you are a charmer, yeah, I, but uh, I need my money. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to buy some clothes? Can you give me a little bit of discount. How much? Uh, fifty percent. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Did I break her? Two and a half gold. <laughs> Four gold. Um. I'll give you three gold and a kiss. Where? Where what? you want? Deal. Uh, <laughs> sure. Uh, you really <laughs> should know the specifics of a deal before you make it. What color? Uh, let's see purple. So, like lightning, she pulls out this enormous sheet of purple paper, folds it like faster than you can perceive, and makes quite possibly the most beautiful ascot you've ever seen. Okay. And then she hands it to you. Thank you. Does he get a paper cut when he puts it on? Probably does not. Wish he did. There's no paper cuts on her stuff. I'll take the kiss later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dear. So disturbing. <laughs> bye bye. Have a good one. So comfortable. <laughs> uh, does my ascot do anything, or is it just no, a paper it's ascot? It's just an ascot. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a purple ascot. All right. Spent some good money there. <laughs> Let's you cosplay as Fred. Uh, all right. <clears throat> so you've been to. Was it all the stalls now? Yeah, that was all the stalls. What area yeah. were you in? Uh, awesome. You're up in front of the castle in the uh, by the the fountain. I want to go to the fountain is. and fill up my cups. four cups. All right. Plus, I get four on top of that. Four cups plus my four normal saucy. Yeah, she does. So I get eight. Your cups don't have lids on them. And so they won't keep long. Be very careful with them. We should ask for lids <laughs> and straws. <laughs> 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 we'll know for next time. <laughs> All right, so as you're going through uh, the town, uh, you hear a very loud voice, uh, kind of carnival barking. Uh, Is it Josh? And there's a it's large, my people. There's a large, large horde of people surrounding, like, cheering, and you hear, like, a ding off in the distance. I'm going to go check it out. You go check it out? I hear my people. You hear your people? Uh, Don't all worry, right. Josh will need to be healed soon. <laughs> So as you approach uh, near the Sawsome Sauce Fountain at the city center, there's a small carnival-style booth with a loudmouth proprietor in a three-ring circus-style striped suit and top hat. He is quite possibly the shortest man you've ever seen with the largest top hat you've ever seen. Danny DeVito. <laughs> uh, you see him uh, wielding a large rubber mallet. Uh, that he then uh, props up next to the platform, which stands a tall scale and a small metal ball at the base. Uh, when you, you see when someone tries to hit the platform the mal uh, with the mallet, the ball goes up. The harder you hit, the higher it goes up. Uh, exactly like a strength challenge at, ev at every carnival that has ever existed. And you hear this man go, come one, come all, test your strength over here. I want to do it. And uh, so you approach, he's, he waddles over, he's like, pleasure to meet you, the name's Hammy, Hammy DeMito. <laughs> Did you just make that up? No, I planned that. <laughs> 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 Would you like to test your strength? Definitely. All right, come with me. All and right. he grabs you by the hand, and he starts waddling back to the, the booth. <laughs> and he, like, he grabs the, the valley and goes, here you go, miss. 
All right. It's quite heavy, so be careful. And I want to pick it up, and I want to I want to fake it. I want to fake like it's so hard for me to pick up. All right. Oh, d- d- don't don't hurt yourself. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I get very... All right, so you're going to lift it up, and you're going to give it a big old swing down on the How platform. Do do oh, that? I'm sorry. Before so you do that, one gold, please. I don't, I don't got a gold. All right, give me the mallet. It takes the mallet uh, back. Uh, what's the prize, sir? She hits it. The prize? It depends on how good you are. I yeah. don't know. The higher you hit it, the more prize you get. This little lady, she might make her money back. I, I don't know. <sighs> I'll, I'll front her the coin. All right, so he catches the coin, and he sticks it into his top hat and puts it back on his head. And he goes, all right, I changed my mind. You can have a shot. He hands you back the mallet. All right, I'm going to make it like it's really, really heavy. All right, so you see this little platform right here? You want to hit that as hard as you can, young yeah, lady. This one? Yeah, that one. With, with this thing, right? With the bell, with the ding. The th- okay. You want the ding. The, the ding's good. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's a 12. A 12. Oh, you really are beefing up, little girl. All right, so you're going to get three gold. And he reaches under his hat, and he takes three gold out, and he goes, cha, cha, cha. I I snatch two, and I let her keep one. All right, come one, come all. Who wants to test their strength over here? This is not how this works. I spotted you. You got a gold. I want to test my strength. All right, step right up, miss. You are your scaly. What is that? Oh, you don't like it? I didn't say I didn't like it. <laughs> That's disturbing. All right, I need one gold from you, Missy. Here you go. All right, thank you very much. Make sure you take one more right. inventory. And uh, you see this little platform here? You're going to take this mallet right here like this. It's heavy, so hurry up and please take it from me. I'm not that strong. All right, so now you're going to hit it with all your might. Now r- swing away. Three. With your strength? Uh, Four. For Miss, you are thawed and sloppy. Now get out of here. <sighs> Step right up, everyone. Test your strength with the amazing Hammy Demito. Oh, you suck, too. All right, I'm going to give him the one gold back. Thank you, Miss. I appreciate the tip. No, 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 no. We're trying again. Give me that Oh, mallet. I'm sorry. Once per day. No! Give me my money back. That uh, was a tip. Thank you very much. It was much. not a tip. Give I appreciate your patronage. Step right up, everyone. I want to pick Next him up. Next up to the bat. I want to pick his short ass up. <laughs> We're going to kick his With ass. With one hand. <laughs> Roll a d20. Strength check. Um, it's the, um, the uh, 10, 11, 12. All right, you try to pick him up, but this is a little cannonball of a man. You can't get your grip around him. He's like, oh, I know you're beefing up, but you're beefing me up right now, sister. <laughs> I hit him in the face. Oh, damn it. It's not any better. It's a 10. All I right. pour my milkshake over his head. Oh, yeah, that feels good. It's good for the hair. He rubs it in, and he's just like, oh, I feel really limber now. <laughs> I want to sneak up behind him. <laughs> uh, roll a... Uh... No, I went to go hit him again. That's a 19. That's a 24. I rolled a one as I'm sneaking up behind him. <laughs> you better not have messed you, up my face. You got to go to together. <laughs> you go to sneak up behind him. Josh falls on his face. Or, uh, Jack Monterey falls on his face behind him. As you go to hit him in the face, he kind of like tries to dodge it, and then he falls back over uh, over the top of uh, Jack Monterey, and his top hat falls off, and gold coins kind of scatter everywhere. But no one runs up to take them. I want my gold coin back. I appreciate can, your tip. Can I? Yeah, I'll can let I, you earn it back if you want. No, I want to scatter it. I want to snatch my gold coin. I want to snatch a gold coin up off the ground. Did uh, any coins come near me where I fell? Uh, yeah, but he's laying on top of you, pinning your arms underneath you. I go to make sure I, I, that they're okay. I try to get out. Like, wh- while I walk over, all the coins like shuffle magically into my shoes. <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> I rolled a 16 to try to get up. You rolled a 16 to try to get up. So you and Hammy Demito both get up. Uh, he is obviously he's done this before, and he scurries and he gets all the coins back together Where, where's and he my stuffs gold them coin? in his in his where's, petticoat I, that he's got. Where did I get my gold coin before he got up? It's in his hat. No, I wanted my gold coin before he got up off he, the ground. You didn't I wanted take to it pick up. Why no, didn't I? Because he's lower <gasps> to the ground. I'm not gonna punch him again to get to. my gold coin back. I he pop open my barrel. Him? And I give a look to the boss. I want to try and pick him up and get him in a barrel. That's it. <laughs> Fuck. Um, 13. I want to try to pit pocket 
as she's like going after him. Okay, so he slaps your hand out of the way. Can I try to pit pocket while while she's distracting him? Fifteen. Sure. What's your AC? Fifteen. Eleven. <laughs> Uh, he, like, judo chops your hand away, and he does four damage to you. That's fine. Do it again. I rolled an 11 for my uh, trying to be sneaky check. He doesn't see you doing it. Okay. Uh, so he slaps Anne across the side of the head now, doing three additional damage. Do I, do, what do I take? What do I get to grab from him as he... Uh, uh, you've reached into his, his pockets there. Um... Let's make this interesting. And by the way, while this is happening, I'm running to the fountain, filling cups with <laughs> sauce, sauce and sauce, and then throwing them back on the boss, and she's instantly healing. I like this. This is so good. This is so good. Uh, I'm going to kill him. So sure. from out of his Let's pocket, you, you get a half a gold piece. Half a gold piece? What yeah. What the hell? How do you have? What kind of cheap bastard is this? Oh, that was a bad one. That was a um, seven. <laughs> two. Uh, I want to go for his hat this time. You better. Uh, there's only so much. Oh, that was bad, too. Like, I want to steal the hat off his head. Nine. At, at this point, everyone is watching, and he's seeing like you trying to <laughs> take stuff out of him as he's dodging and weaving. And with surprising like speed, he's like bobbing and weaving and like slapping you across the face as Dipperell is like rubbing sauce into the back of your head. I need a 20. Uh, at there, some townsfolk you notice have gone off to go and get some city guards. That's fine. He stole from me. He stole. He stole. It's thievery. What'd you roll, Josh? I rolled a 12. I'm just going to roll to the roll 20. Okay. He notices you this time. That was pretty good. No! I need a d20. 22. Give me my freaking coin. He slaps your hand away, but it does nothing. <clears throat> roll for damage, Jan. Does he have uh, anything else set up in his booth? No, Other prices? Literally just that. Okay. What am I rolling for damage? Your D4. I'm going to take the mallet. Well, two. <laughs> I keep running Thank to that much. fountain, and I keep healing her <laughs> right back up. Just, I only had one gold coin, and he stole it. Uh, He winds up and kind of does an uppercut right underneath your chin, and he does nine damage to you. <laughs> I took the mallet. Okay, as you take the mallet, a couple of the city guards run up, and they're just like, whoa, 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 everyone calm down. What's going on? This man stole my money! And you point to Hammy Demito. Of course. And then the guards, like, look at you. They look at Hammy. All right, and uh, I don't I don't know that he the did. did. What do you the mean? sir did take, take her money. I saw it with my own two eyes. <laughs> uh, I rolled a nine. All right. And then Hamby comes and he's like, boys, 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 you remember me. And they're like, oh, it's Hammy. Hammy DeMito. Hammy DeMito the thief. No, no, no. He's as, as this is going on, I'm dropping the mallet into the, the barrel. <laughs> he's a good guy. No, he's not. I played a stupid game. I won money. And I she to tipped me. Did not tip you. Where is my money? You thief. The guards are not sure what's going on. They're like, you know what? You know what? Guards, why don't you uh, call the queen? I'm sure she'd be more than happy to settle this little disagreement. Off in the distance. <laughs> I say, where's the beef? Now you did it. She better give me my money back or I'm not protecting squat. Uh, off in the distance, you hear a familiar voice rumbling it better be the across old dude the entire land. For 50 years, we have strived to accomplish things the other nations of Beef's Keep could not do. Like honesty! Or choose not to do. Good we have business. maintained the one tried and true fact of our people. In Fresh Tovia, we do not cut. Corners. Or steal coins. We will not cut corners. 
As the deep freeze continues in the south, just know we will not succumb to the pressure of the same of some clown, because we are fresh. Queen, and Wen Queen Wendy leaves the sentence floating as everyone else in the kingdom repeats back, "Never frozen," and cheer. Because we hit the movie in frozen. Uh, the crowd starts to disperse, uh, making their way towards uh, their houses away from the shops and everything, kind of clearing out. Uh, but as you notice, you are now completely surrounded by city guards. Okay, uh, the city guards go, it's you. Uh-huh. Queen wants to see. Let's go. No, coin first. No, we're going. I'm not going anywhere. So coin? It, while surrounding you in a circle, the guards start pushing you towards the, uh, the castle. I stole his ballot. How much do you think we can get for it? Oh, it went in the barrel. It's gone now. <laughs> I still took <laughs> I took all the awesome sauce with me still. So. Yeah, you still have it on you. All right. So that is going to end today's session. Uh, you all are being, unless you're fighting back. Can I have the pencil? Against the guards. Are you fighting back against the guards? I almost want to. No. I could not talk to the queen until she gives me my coin back. So we have gone in. Your guys are going into the palace right now. That is going to end chapter one uh, when we come back in the next session of uh, Feast of Legends. We're going to be going into chapter two, going on our new adventure. You all will be level two officially. You can pick out all of your buffs and stats and all that oh fun yeah. stuff before the next session. So with that, thank you all for watching today. We really do appreciate it. Make sure you're joining us for all of our upcoming and future streams. Uh, w is there a stream Monday next week? That's to be decided. All right. Uh, just because I'm I'm not available on Mondays. Yep. So wham wham. Yep. Uh, Tuesday of next week though. Uh, keep in mind that we're gonna be doing our continuation of Twitch Plays Kingdom mm -hmm. Death going into Lantern Year two. Uh, where we're we're doing our super serial campaign. Uh, then next week, Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, we'll be doing our continuation of uh, Feast of Legends. Keeping stuff fresh. Never frozen! For Sparta! What word am I? Double stick. <laughs> what is she saying? For Sparta. Uh. Uh, if you want to find out when we're streaming and what we're going to be streaming, make sure that you follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and come chat with us on our Discord channel where? Sometimes we discuss the tenets of honesty an honest business. I don't think that was the question. <laughs> uh, if you've got Amazon Prime, you've got Twitch Prime, which means you get one free sub every month. We'd love it if you used it on us. And even if you don't have Amazon Prime, just subscribe to us. You get more entries into giveaways. You get some cool bonus stuff. You get some stuff and things. And it helps support us to continue these shows. So if you like this content, subscribe do it. away. Do, do, do it. Uh, and uh, make sure you keep your ears open for the next uh, drive that we're going to be doing uh, to get more plaques on the table and maybe make Anne and Stephanie eat something Ooh. delicious. I was so happy. Possibly that's... gross. No. Only delicious. Only delicious. We're hoping for delicious. Anything else tonight, folks? I think it... Oh! Joshua, please tell the people at home the message you've been spreading across the land. Right under your bed. That's right. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Recycled peanut butter. Oh, yeah.